here, and uh, I think it sets the stage for a very special show. That's the one thing I can say about this uh, today. It is um, it is a show that's going to really, I think, sharpen your perspective, and especially sharpen your perspective with respect to um, your walk in Christ, and just understand that we are in a battle. We're in a battle that is uh, 24-7. It never ends. Um, and I'm just uh, reading over my guest, uh, Bishop Kanko, uh, Vagalas Kanko, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, I've got a lot of questions for him. His testimony is outstanding. You've heard Pat Holliday. She's been my guest. And uh, describing Bishop Kanko as a uh, fourth-generation witch doctor family, um, he, uh, he had been a practitioner, um, and... Um, he was delivered out by the almighty power of God. He was chosen by the Lord to uh, be a leader in his community, to, to help bring people to Christ, to bring a nation to Christ, I would say, and, and, and help us bring the world to Christ. It, at times, it seems like we're losing the battle, doesn't it? Well, all I can tell you is that the battle is already won. The Lord does not miss uh, any who are his. He doesn't forsake us. He will never leave us or forsake us. All will be completed perfectly. That's the faith I have. I know this. At the same time, I've got a job to do that he's commissioned me to do, but I'm not going to sit there losing sleep and strength, worrying that I might not do it okay. So many of us are have this 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 issue lately, and we've been dealing with that. But uh, without further ado, let me just go ahead and bring in uh, Bishop Kanko right now. I guess we're on line one. Hello, Bishop Kanko. Hello, how are you? I'm I'm doing very well. You you have an amazing story here. <laughs> Thank you to the glory of God. Yes, th- your life is a is a great uh, testimony, and um, what what I can say about it is just from knowing Pat Holiday and seeing. I I mean, are there many witch doctors that actually and wizards? I guess that's what you would say that have actually been delivered. Yes, we have, by the grace of God, through the power of Jesus Christ in Africa, there is so much revival. So a lot of witch doctors are getting delivered daily mm-hmm. because the the power of God has hit Africa and there's so much revival. And by the grace of God, people are getting to understand who yes. Jesus is. And so they know that Jesus has the greater power. And so... By the grace of God, we see the witch doctors and then the wizards and the witches coming to the Lord daily. Mm-hmm. That is really exciting. It's very exciting. I, I just get the sense that your ministry is really vital and alive. Yes. Uh, you must be horrified with <laughs> America. <laughs> I'm sorry to bring that up, but let's face it. That's the elephant, and as we say, the elephant in the room um, at the moment. You know, that, uh, mm-hmm. th- that our churches have gone to sleep. Uh, mm-hmm. We just had a shooting at one church that, w- where the the pastor was um, had to quit. He was head of the American Evangelical Association and had to quit because of a sordid affair and and uh, thing that he got involved in. But I was given to prophesy to them. I said, just getting rid of him isn't going to solve the problem. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you know. And I said, if you got to shut this church down and cleanse it, and then. Bring it back or bring another church back. Better, you, you know what I mean. That was the word I had for them. Well, they ignored it, and then yesterday, tragically, two people were shot at this church. My goodness. And and so I'm saying, you know, and the, instead of saying, gee, maybe something's wrong with us, they're still going on like, let's all come together and, you know, and, and, and pray some more for God's protection, I guess. Anyway, that's something we're dealing with as Americans because it's all over the, all, all over the news today. And we have two churches here. We have the Invisible Church, which Pat Holiday and I are members of. Mm-hmm. And then we have the ex- outside church, which has gone to the devil. That's right. So <laughs> Pat Holiday told me that some that you, you told her, I, and I'm going to check this out right now, mm-hmm. that some of these witch doctors in, in Africa, they're afraid of uh, people here, <laughs> of Christians. <laughs> they say some of the Christians are, are very, very powerful wizards. Mm-hmm. So you, I, see, uh, <laughs> you see, you uh, see, uh, 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 the, 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 the thing is, the day you receive Jesus Christ into your heart and he becomes your Lord, all the demons and all the witches should, should normally fear you. You should have power because you have Jesus. Ah, yes. You should have 
strength because you have Jesus. But so, so truly, those who are walking in the Spirit, the Bible says they are the sons of God. And such of these, that the devil is always scared of them because they know what they know and they know what the Spirit of God can really do. But those who always walk foolish, mm-hmm. the devil always laughs at them and any time they want to, to, to destroy them, it becomes very, very easy. So, yes, yes, so yes, uh, like I'm saying, if you are spirit filled, then uh, you are guaranteed that no, you can never be touched by any powerful witch doctor yeah, or yeah. wizard. Yes. Well, so it depends on Joe. So it depends upon the 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 the, 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 the Christian. The Bible says we we lack knowledge. It says my people are perished for lack of knowledge. So it depends on the individual Christian. But 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 above all. Jesus is Lord. <laughs> yeah, Jesus is Lord. Yeah. Jesus yeah. is Lord. Jesus yeah. is, is God. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. It, you were a wizard. For, right. for Okay, now, uh, let's just, for the audience's sake, what is a wizard? Let's, let's define what does that mean. Yeah, a wizard is somebody who leaves his body and then go out doing things for Satan, some of the things that he does is that he manipulates people, he kills people, he puts sickness and diseases, he puts curses, he makes sure that people's life are backwards, he makes sure that people will not have the skills to serve God, he prevents people from knowing God and coming to Christ. Mm-hmm. Such people is classified as a wizard because wizards we leave our body and go out and do things, and after that, come back to the body. This is a high-class uh, wizard. So basically, when you want to identify or to, to, to really know who is a wizard, a wizard or a witch is someone who has the ability to leave his or her body and do things for Satan. That's what we call witches or wizards. Okay, so a lot of that has to do with traveling i suppose you know we could call that the astral plane right that's, that's right and and they that's go right. in into that rhino and they can the, in other words they can travel by way of that and then go into someone's house let's say that's right and while they're sleeping and and do something bad to them or hurt them you're right. you're right you're right or cause them to be um whatever to be uh, enslaved because mm-hmm. there's a lot of slavery with the occult it seems the occult the whole system that satan has is based on slavery. That's right. You are right. You are right. Because you don't do this out of your willpower. The moment you leave the body, you become controlled by a higher spirit, and then you are, like I said, you are slaves to, to, to them. Whether you like it or not, you got to follow the instructions that you have been received from Satan. So, yes, in no shell, you become a slave to them, and they use you and let you work for them. Then eventually, if God does not intervene, they will destroy you and then kill you. So, yeah, yeah, yeah so they, they so go are, to are mm-hmm. they go to destruction, and that's what we've seen with. Uh, well, my familiarity is not so much with African wizards, but with Western wizards like mm-hmm. uh, the famous Aleister Crowley, mm-hmm. Aleister Crowley of uh, who wrote all the books, and he was so mm-hmm. proud of himself, and even the Beatles put him on the record of Sergeant Pepper to to say that you know that, that, that here's their hero. Mm-hmm. And, and all that. Well, he he went to destruction in this life. That's right. Before his death, he was uh, impoverished and sick, so sickly he couldn't uh, feed himself or get up out of his bed, and he <laughs> died in poverty and utter utter shame. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's what I said. They will use you, destroy you, and eventually uh, kill you, waste you away. Okay, and and would the reason for the killing be? You know, you get old, you're not good to them. Once you're no longer of use to them, then, of course, there's, right. there's no loyalty. There's no, that's right. There's they just, no loyalty, they right. just they just spit you out. That's right. That's right. They use you. When you're done, it's thank you. I'll take another. I'll take a fresh Kleenex now. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, they just, you become garbage to them. That's you become garbage. It's a vegetable, yes. Oh, boy. So many people in, in the world today... Um, just seem to, to, to love this occult. They love this new ageism. They love these, you're running after Eastern uh, gods. You know, that was happening in America back in the 60s because they were tired of the corrupt churches, so they went to the East. 
and you say something in the first chapter of your book where you, you say basically anything but Jesus, whether it's Pan, Krishna, Diana, Thor, anything, the, 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 all these gods, there's one person behind it, that's Satan. Yes. Yes. The, do you know what the people go and search for these things? You know, human beings always want to be protected. Mm-hmm. Human beings always want to be self-sufficient in terms of finances, in terms of businesses, yes. in, in terms of co- connection, in, ter- in, in, terms of, uh, in terms of long life, in terms of protection. And because of these things, people tend to forget that protection, the real protection in the real world and the real comfort is from, for, for Jesus. Mm-hmm. So they in turn travel to seek these things outside the Word of God. And in trying to seek these things, they come into contact with Satan himself. And then Satan will uh, now come in into their life and deceive them and pretend as if he's going to protect them and give them peace and wealth. But at the end of the day, it becomes a deception. If you don't discover it in time, there's no way when even you know that you have been deceived, you can come out. Because all of those guys who are in cause, their soul is in the hands of Satan. So a lot of them will want to come out, but they feel it's too late now because if they mess up, Satan will catch their, 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 their life. So basically, the reason why people are and go and search for these things is to, to, for protection, for businesses, for finances, for right connection, for right this, for right that. Mm-hmm. But they have forgotten that the perfect and good, good, good gifts, good gifts come from only, only God. Yeah. They have, they have, yeah, they have also forgotten that the uh, prom- promotion does not come from either south or west or east or north, but come from God, God alone. But you see, anyway, if your eyes are not open to these things, <clears throat> it becomes difficult for you to even recognize it. So, initially, people go there, but when they go and they reach a particular place or a particular point, they see the fruit, and it becomes a bit late for them to return. And that is where misery comes in. That is where fear comes in. That is, that is where so many things comes comes in. So if you don't discover a man of God who understands these things to be able to tell you how to come out and go through de- de- deliverance and break away from the past and separate yourself from them, yes, you, you wouldn't survive. Even you you will come out in a, in a door, but they would eventually kill you. So a lot of people are so much afraid to even come out because they're not even sure that if they come out, they'll be able to live. Yeah, but, they think. They believe, uh, well, I deal with that quite a bit. People believe that um, if they come out, if they walk in the, t- that, that Jesus won't protect them. That's right. So they don't take the chance. That's right. That's right. They, because they don't, it's a leap of faith, isn't it? I mm-hmm. mean, as, as they say, we have to, um, you know, we, we, we can only walk by faith. We, we That's really, right. we can't have insurance. Like an That's insurance right. policy <laughs> ahead of time, we have to actually have the faith and then do it. And, you right. and so we don't have a, a safety net. I mean, that mm-hmm. we trust that Jesus is the net and He's the safety net. Uh, but I just found that people, when they really love the Lord, mm-hmm. what happens is that they're happy to live and happy to die. That's right. That's they're, right. They're happy to suffer. They don't try not to suffer. They just say. Well, I'm I'm chosen. It's an honor to 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 to, to suffer f- uh, for the crucified one. You're right. You know, but that's more sophisticated. That that comes later when one's faith is built up enough, so they understand the value of suffering. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, now, your family background. Bishop Kenko is my guest, folks, and uh, you've heard all about him. Uh, we probably should bunch these episodes together with Pat Holiday and and or this this talk today with Pat Holiday's talking because we did so much talk and I'm going to be leading into some some things that we talked about with her regarding the sea and the spirits of the sea but first um, Bishop Kenko grew up in a in what would be just a, a poor African family in Ghana and and he says in his book quite typical a uh, poor African family in Ghana which uh, well let me just take a quote from from the book uh, and the book, my friends, is um, well. I, I what's the title very quickly because I, I don't want to lose my place here. I'm I'm in the book now. 
online. What's the the title is uh, uh, Witch Doctor and the Man mm-hmm. Finds Jesus Christ. Uh, Bishop Kanko v- Vagalis is that it? Mm-hmm. Vagalis. Vagalis. Vagalis Kanko with Pat Holiday PhD. This is a book you can get also from Pat's site. Now let me get back to this quote that I have uh, prepared here. It's uh, I did not learn about witchcraft like some people because I was born into it. I grew right. uh, I grew up in that atmosphere of darkness. That is, my family worshipped idols. Likewise, they were witch doctors, witches, wizards. Because we did not know God, whatever anyone can think about, we were involved in it. That is what we knew. As a result, my great-grandfather, my grandfather and father, did not know anything about Jesus. They had never stepped into a church. Spiritually, they were bound by the idol they were serving. It was my family duty to take care of the idols and their sacred food. Uh, bananas, uh, these were bigger and, and better than the ones in my well, it goes on from there about bananas and mangoes. Now you're getting me hungry here with that. So <laughs> um, you were you were in an atmosphere, and also I would just imagine that in in your town or village, everyone was into the same thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You're right. And, and my, you, you, mm-hmm. so, so you ask, I ask you, you know, if, if Satan is supposed to give you riches, how come your family was poor for generations? That is what the devil. That is what I tell people. The devil is a liar. He's a deceiver. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, he's, because the, 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 the true riches come from, from, from God. Yes, so a lot of people have been asking me this question. How come we were poor? If, 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 if you can give riches to people, how come that we were, we were poor? You're not the first person to ask this question. They asked me, uh, ask this question when, when I was in TBN. <laughs> they asked me this question when, 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 when I was in Seed, 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 Seed Rock. And then I I I I I under uh, fifty six or seven the T V. The problem is that in order to discover your wealth, you need to identify yourself with Jesus. Now if you are outside Christ, you tend to believe everything that the the demons will tell you. You know what they were telling us? They said, Look, look, they have made us rich to make people rich. In, 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 in other words, we don't have to touch the riches, but our ability to give the riches to people, it does not make sense. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> it does not make sense. No, uh, if, if, if they can get you to do the work for nothing, that's even better. That, that, that's right. That's even better. So, 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 so they'll, 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 they'll say, you are already in the rich, so you don't need to be rich, but you need to make people rich. So it means people will come to you, and then they will uh-huh. perform all kinds of sacrifices, human sacrifices, or then, then the spirit will go with them and the spirit begin to vomit money, etc. So they say, you don't need to be rich because you are already rich, but the people that come to you must be rich. But you see, by so doing, you, the people are bound to, to that demon. They are bound to that demon. And they will continue to pay homage and to recognize the authority of that demon in their life forever and ever. So they are, they are loyal uh, servant of, of the demon because they are bound, because of what they feel they are getting from the demon. So the, 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 the trick is that to get people to be bound and to be loyal and then to be dedicated to a demon. So he releases these spirits to the people, and then you bring your loved ones to be killed, either your father, your mother, your brother. Then... Somehow the demons will be vomiting the money, and then you'll be taking the money and thinking that you are rich. Now, by so doing, you will always be faithful, and you will always be food and bound to those. So that's how he was able to uh, got the whole the whole town, the whole village, the whole city bound to himself because his so-called promise of wealth. <laughs> promise of wealth, the promise yes. that ne- never materializes. But it never materializes, right? We have uh, a lot of people in this country, believe it or not, they're they're in the same bondage. And and here's the thing: some of this is generational, where they, like in your case, where they have mm-hmm. generational fa- family demons, mm-hmm. and they they only rise to a certain place in society. Mm-hmm. But but this idea of human sacrifice, mm-hmm. the idea that one one would have this insane idea mm-hmm. that their life is somehow worth more than some guy they can just capture and kill. That's because, right. 
it's no problem because I'm going to get money for it. That's right. That's right. Not probably a right. Or like power. Like those who are seeking for the, the senators and the, the president and then the governors. That's what it is we do. They will do everything to get it. They will go and get some guys and then let, let them get some guy, kill him, and I become the next president, the next governor, the next mayor, then I can be on top and I will, I will be sitting on power. You see, there are all kinds of things. We, we talked about that on a, on a show with uh, several guests about how they were aware they were, they were in the, the Satanism and whenever there was a politician, he needed to get votes or whatever, they would arrange a human sacrifice. That's right. And, and then the power would be given, I guess, mentally, everyone would just, or through their will, That's give, right. give it to, to the politician mm -hmm. so that he would win. That's right. And this goes on in this country as well. And it's, it goes on all over the world. In, in oh, fact. yes, all over the world. Yes. But, but that's what I always wondered. How do they choose their victims to, to sacrifice? And how do they, it, law enforcement must be involved in it because how, how would someone get away? That would be murder. But yeah, they, well, yes, they can. They, you know, a, a, you see people getting missing. It's not for missing, for just missing. These are the guys who cut them. You know, the children are missing, the kids are missing. missing you always, yes. Yes, you always are missing. You, you open the TV and some people are, are lost. They come find them. The kids are missing. They say, these are the kind of things that they, they, they used for these type of rituals. Mm -hmm. So they have, like, uh, people that do the dirty work that are kind That's of right. above the yes. law. They, they, yes, yes, yes. They do the, the dead work. Yeah, they do they that. They just bring yeah. the kids, yes. So whoever they will, they will be able to capture and send it. Uh, you, you don't come back, right? And then it's and then I guess the more the younger, the more innocent, uh, okay. uh, preferably a, a virgin would be uh, ideal. Right. Ideal, and then uh, ideal. That's right. They they, they or, or or a baby even, and then uh, they they go ahead. And, well, we have the the the. I mean, this is terrible. Um, I believe that human sacrifice is Satan's core mm -hmm. core. Um, it's like a core ritual. That's right. Bloodletting, and then of course there's all the, the there's sexual aspects to it, but that's not the real core of it is bloodletting. It's blood. Yeah, bloodletting. That's right. Okay. Well, then, and that's horrific. Well, it's even more horrific, folks. Uh, Bishop Kanko I'm, uh, is my guest today uh, from Ghana. He is uh, was was fourth generation in his family. They did not know the Lord, and we're going to get to his testimony in a minute of just exactly how he met the Lord and what that encounter was all about. Um, which delivered him, and remember, in these villages, in small towns and villages, you can't just go accept the Lord and say, okay, I'm done with you guys. No. <laughs> no. You know, I'm done. I don't need you guys anymore. I got my own thing going on. I had a similar thing. They, they, they felt they had control of me, and I, I just through the Lord, through, through God's power, he just walked me out right through the midst of them, just like as Jesus disappeared in their midst. I went the same way, and, and I just rely on him every single day because he worked. I wouldn't want to rely on these people. They stab each other in the back. You're right. All the time. Um, well, before we get into your testimony, there's something leaping out at me right off the page here about demonic forms. You say some of these demons can be the size of, and I'm jumping around here, I realize, but I'm just kind of letting the spirit guide me and just trying to find the right, the, the heart of this interview. But um, that these demonic entities can be as little as, as microscopic mm -hmm. entities, or they can be as big as a building, you say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, yes. never, I never heard that before. Yes, that because I, I, I work with them directly. Like the, the smallest demon that you can find in the kingdom of darkness is, is, is witches or wizards. They are the least. Very small, very tiny. But mm -hmm. look, at, look at the havoc they, they are causing. You know, so some of them are very tiny, and some of them are very huge. And because of my personal encounter with them, once I was there, I was able to describe them and then and then and know the activities, their their work and their dealings, and what they do, what they do, and what they they they, they, they what they they, they, are, they are behind it. Sometimes, so I because of my personal encounter with them. I'm able to describe them and to tell you what they exactly mean, what they do, who is behind this, who is behind that. You see, so it's a whole lot of 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 of, of thing there, 
And that's why the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, mm-hmm. but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness, and against spiritual wickedness in the higher places. Now, if you don't have an idea about these things, you just run it over, read it, and you will not even pay attention to it. But the, the Ephesians chapter 6, 12 through 13 has actually described the hierarchy of Satan, the kingdom of Satan. It says we will wrestle not against flesh and blood, against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness, against spiritual weakness in high, 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 high places. It is actually described the hierarchy and the kingdom of Satan because all the opposing forces, all the negative forces, all the evil spirits is being controlled by Satan himself. Now, after Satan, the next in command is what we call the principality. What it has said in the Bible. When we, after the principality, the next in command is what we call powers. Then after powers, the next in command is the rulers of darkness. And after rulers of darkness, then the, the one follow is the spiritual wickedness in the higher places. And my brother, I have I have worked with principalities. There are only four in number, just four. And wow. and one principality, my brother, one principality controls 50,000 demons plus numerous uncountable evil spirits for destruction. Uh-huh. And they are just for one principality. Powers are eight in number. Powers, they are eight. Mm-hmm. And one power controls 20,000 demons plus numerous uncountable evil spirits for this, this, this destruction. Now, between principalities and powers, they don't work the same. Now, principalities, they are the planning committee. They are the architect of all the evil things and negative things that happens in this world. They make sure that they design it. They make sure that they, they, strategy, they, 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 they strategize it. They make sure that then when they finish, what they do is that they hand over everything that they have planned to powers. Now, powers, they act as a law enforcement agency. They enforce the destruction. They make sure that whatever they have planned and they have received, it come to pass, whether we like it or not, unless we pray. So powers act as policemen. They enforce the destruction. They make sure if they want to destroy the whole of America. Principalities don't destroy it. They plan how to go. They can plan with uh, uh, Katrina. They can plan with fire. Wow. They can plan. Then after they have finished their planning, they hand over every document, everything to powers. And what the powers do is that they will make sure that there is fire. <laughs> uh-huh. They will make sure that there is wind. <laughs> they will make sure that disaster strike. You see, so when you get into their, that, they are very loyal to Satan and they are very, very efficient. That is why they are working. They are loyal and very, very committed and very, very efficient. Now, the, the reason why it even worse is that Apart from the spiritual being that I've mentioned, Satan has his human agent lives with us. You understand? He has his human agent <laughs> living with, with us. So the human agent help the spiritual being carry out the activities of Satan. That is why it becomes easy for Satan when he wants to destroy. Let me tell you how uh, the ninth eleven came. Now, the second heaven is where... The spiritual wickedness in the higher places of is mm-hmm. the, the, the second heaven is where all the space pro- programming and all the demonic computers are being set up. When you talk about psychic computers, that is where it happens. And psychic if, psychic computers. Yes, psychic computers. That is where it is. And then if 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 they want to destroy America, oh, man. yes, <laughs> what they 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 they, they do that. The higher agents of the, the the higher agents of Satan, like the like the Muslim Muslims, like the occult, they say let let show let 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 teach America let lesson. So they will now send a petition to Satan in the second heaven. He happens in the second heaven. Now Satan will take this petition and invite them. And they will give them the reason why they, they want this destruction to, to go on. Now, after they are able to convince Satan that, okay, this is the reason why we want this conviction to, to go on. 
when I was in my last meeting in 1976, my last meeting, that, that was the, the, uh, the world meeting. I represented my father, and one of the, the, the topics that came up was that America is becoming too dictatorial. So they were going to look, find a way and means to break their wings, to break their anchor. That, that was 1975. Wow. Yes, that America was becoming so strong because Soviet was the devil. I mean, Russia. Because you couldn't preach Russia at that time. Right. You couldn't send the Bible. So, they don't, they don't, so far as Soviet Union is concerned, they don't have problem at all. But it was the Americans who were really, really getting on their nest. So at that time, 75, 74, 75, it was mentioned. So, so, and let them tell you how they get the destruction comes very fast. So um, when, America, in a sense, uh, was successful, and the reason why it's going down now is because of the decadence and the turning away and rebellion toward God and, and, that, and having... Yeah, that's right, yeah. They, all these things are manipulations. Oh, that's what I said. All these things but this are gives, manipulations. Bishop, yeah. Bishop, this gives permission hmm. then to the demonic powers. In other words, you have to give them permission to carry out... That's right. Yes. But you know what? But you know what? They would bring forth preachers... They will bring forth, you know what, they will bring forth, <laughs> you don't know how they work. They will take their time, they, 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 they don't mind if it has to take them 40 years mm -hmm. to, to plant false churches, to plant false preachers, to plant false uh, uh, prophets and prophets, to plant false Jesus. And they will also make sure that in the churches, they dilute the true word of God. It will be gradual. Oh, so at the end of the day, the church will accept everything at all. That, that's why in the book of Jude, they said ungodly men has creeped into the house of God. This, they don't do it at once. They have time. And so over the years, they will gradually introduce a lot of things in the house of God and water down the principles of God and the word of God and, and force the church to accept anything. So if you go to churches, people can now put earrings, men put earrings and go to church, do their hair and go to church. Now we have gays who are pastors, we have gays who go to church. You see, these are the kind of things they started in 75. They would gradually, uh, gradually and gradually. So at the end of the day, they would eventually take over. And what they do is that they also empower their people with money. And so in 19... 75, 74, they decided that they are going to empower homosexuals with wealth in order to be able to attract people at the, t the top TV stations, uh, at the, pr the top radio presenters, the top TV presenters, the top actors and actresses, the top this, because he, he, they empower them with wealth because they know that if they have wealth, yeah. well, they will be able to, yes. So it takes time, it gradual manipulation, it takes time gradually. It, it yes. will take somebody who has the spirit of God to be able to discern and know what has happened. Else, it, they will take you by surprise. They don't. They don't. They don't rush. It gradual process. They can decide to say we are going to use fifty years or a hundred years to achieve our pe 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 purpose, and and it will be so. Well, you know, there's yes. a in, in this country materialism being a, a celebrity. That's right. You a, see, but a celebrity. But we have a. They worship the celebrity here. It's yes. so out of control now, Bishop Kanko, that at this point, uh, we have to say that barring some huge intervention of the spirit or some huge catastrophe that would allow people to be witnesses who would live and then they would be on their faces before the Lord and say never again. Unless, right. we, unless we have something of a catastrophe of, of biblical proportions, That's we right. are going to go down and off the cliff in America. Yes. That's my, yes. my prediction because we've gone the way of materialism and we've gone the way of worshiping the created rather than the creator. You're and, right. And uh, we've, 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 we worship uh, uh, anything for power. We go to sex for power. We go to... Yes. Uh, uh, hurting other people for power, making them that's feel right. bad, giving them shame, you know, just insulting someone because it makes you feel better. That's a form of Satanism <laughs> in a way, you know. But it's gone so far now with the churches. Like I said, we have uh, we have churches that have a, a, a rule or they have rules that not be conformed to Christ but be conformed to the world system. And, it, and, and, and this is the norm in America. This is normal. 
Now, now it, it is so pervasive that, I mean, I can tell you I'm, that, that most of the churches that, that we have checked out, uh, there's a policy that if you don't actually conform to the world and be, you know, a worldly person to get along, uh, they will get a restraining order on, on, for example, if Elijah showed up, okay, he's like one, one of the righteous dudes. So let's say he shows up. He would have a legal order not to enter the church. I wouldn't and if John the Baptist showed up, or if <laughs> if, if if Jesus himself showed up, uh, he, they would crucify him. That's where we are today. And then they wonder why they're suffering. Uh, anyway, I can see it because I'm, you know, separate from all of it. But uh, if you're in it, you can't really see it unless the Lord yeah, unless the Lord separates you. You can't see it. Mm-hmm. You can't you, you're because you're in it. You can't see. And then when you go around talking what you see and telling people what's going on, they say, oh, Bishop Kanko, you're so hateful. Yes, you're right. You're right. I mean, can't you be a little more loving? Yes, yes. You know, and can't you cut these people some? I mean, we're all sinners, Bishop. We all fall short of the glory of God. Yes. How come you're, you know, why are you so, every little thing you're, 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 you're on it like that could be a, a doorway. That could be a doorway. You know. You even say in your book here that that was mm-hmm. co-written with Pat Holiday um, that that you've got to be careful with even fashion because even You're right. You're even, right. even the latest fashions mm-hmm. have you say these demonic uh, principalities. The latest fashions have uh, demonic powers on on the clothing. Yes, because Molech is in charge of fashion. Molech? Molech is okay. a demon, is in charge of fashion. Fashion, oh, wow. Yes, you see? I... And, and, you see and if you speak the truth, they, 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 they don't want to hear. You see? Uh-huh. They, they don't want to hear because they don't want to uh, repent. You see? So, 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 so it, becomes, it becomes difficult. You see, a, 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 woman, a woman of God like Dr. Pat Holliday... This woman is so pure and so honest and so faithful. Yeah. And he, any time he opens her mouth, he speaks the truth. And you know what? Because he speaks the truth, nobody wants to do anything. See, but they will regret one day. The day the Lord will call this woman. People will not begin to know who she is. But that time she's gone. You see, so, so it, it becomes very, 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 very uh, 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 sad that, yeah. that such, such a... There's such a woman uh, is in this is in this nation and and they don't even want to hear what she says. Oh, that, well, we we so t- pure, she's so holy, yes. she's so faithful and dedicated, and and they don't even want to hear him speak, and it it's hard. And you know what? Like I said, I know that before they will run to her, it may it it, it may be too late because God will eventually one day call her home. That is the time that people would realize their eyes will open. You know, so my God, what did we do? You see, so so the the the, the evil and the perversion and then and, and the materialism has covered the eyes of the people to the extent that they can't even see. They always want to support the wrong thing. They always want to support the popular thing. They They're always, always want to support the ungodly. They're all, always wrong, too. I mean, once if you don't have Jesus and you're not yes. being led and you're going by your own understanding rather than being, yes. by being led by the Lord's guidance, yes. you're always, I, well, you're always wrong. At least uh-huh. with the Lord's guidance, you're because you're, we're not perfect vessels, we wouldn't be perfect, but most of the time we'd be hitting the right choice. Yeah, you're right. Because he, he never lets us down, and I just That's want right. to emphasize to people, um, you know, and emphasize to you that, you know, all this is fascinating uh, Bishop Kanko knows an awful lot. There's more. We we could do a whole series of talks about different kinds of demons, demonic anointings, uh, inherited curses, um, where where they are. That we're going to get in a minute to the uh, to the um, spirits under the sea. Well, let me just ask you this about the sea. Is there a kingdom under the sea? Yes, there's a, a whole city under the sea. The eyes, natural eyes, cannot behold it, but it's. I have never seen. A city where it's organized and 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 well uh, arranged, mm-hmm. beautiful like the sea, the city under the sea. I tell you, I wh- when I was there, I did not have opportunity to, to travel the world. But after I become born again, travel extensively throughout the whole world. 
-hmm. And I'm here to find an organized city, a city that is well organized and well arranged and well laid. And the beauty, I've never seen some before. Very beautiful. In fact, in 73, 72, 74, I have seen a computer working in under the, 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 the sea, the city under the sea. When you get there, everything that they'll tell you, it is computerized. Your name, your everything. Even when you want to drink water, they will just have to press some computer and the computer will just bring the water pour and get and have you. I saw this lot way before computer become very, very popular in the natural realm or the physical realm. So, so it is, and that is where I learned all the demons and the activities. The demon in charge of speed and accident, Gog and Magma Gog, the demon in charge of... Uh, wow. Well, let, let me ask you a question about, um, is this city, uh, I mean, obviously, are, are people in the water or is it, is there an opening where there's air? I mean, how? It, it, it's a spiritual thing. Uh, unless you, 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 you turn into a spirit, unless you are a witch or a wizard or something, you come, it's under the sea, in, in natural eyes, under the sea, you see water. But when you get into the spirit, you will see that there's no water, it's a city. You cannot behold with your, 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 your natural eyes. I see. That's right. Okay. Uh-huh. That's okay. Right. So, but these spirits under the sea and, and their computers, they keep track of people here on, on the surface. That's right. That's right. They know who, you see, they manipulate people. A lot of, a lot of the superpowers, before you can become a president, they will, they'll have to approve from under the sea. Because missionaries, if they have missions are there, mm-hmm. uh, the Lord is, so you cannot enter into that um, if you are not a part of it. Well, I, I know this, that um, with what we do here, I, we get a lot of interference. We get a lot of um, attacks on our computers. Mm-hmm. We get yes, a lot, they would damage, yes. A, a lot of phys- I mean, stuff that's really uh, unbelievable that no one would believe. Uh, that My uh, partner, Frankie, who's uh, the, the computer architect of our broadcast network, we have four streams and four servers and all these things that he has to keep track of. And he's seen things, well, for example, when certain guests are on, and, and this one, folks, we are pre-recording this to, to, because Bishop, Bishop can't go schedule, but you will be hearing it live. It will be commenting on either side of the interview. But, um, well, for example, when certain guests are on, we get a message that says, uh, like, server overheated, like, meltdown of our server. <laughs> Only when a certain guest, and then it, when, when the guest is over with, it goes back to normal. Yes. No, I, and, <laughs> there's no way. <laughs> and this server is in another state, several states away from us. That's right. And, and, and there's no explanation. We've had <laughs> thing after thing like that happen where there's no explanation that makes any sense whatsoever, except it's demonic. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and it's, it's another power. Can they see... Oh, here's another thing. I've, I've got so many questions and, and uh, limited time. So, um, can the, When we accepted the Lord, we, my wife and I, we were, we were um, harassed by UFOs at one time. Or throughout time, you know, each of us in our own way. And I found out early on when I was 16 that the UFOs were tied in with the satanic cult that was trying to get me to be initiated into the cult. And, and, and I found out that these UFOs were tied into it. When I found that out, I said, no way. And then, of course, they tried to kill me, which was just, uh, um, no, it's horrible. I, uh, no one should have to go through a life like this was not the leave it to beaver life that I we, would watch on TV, let me tell you. But anyway, so these UFOs were, and finally, uh, kind of got to a crescendo of activity in uh, the 90s. And what happened is they would like hover over the house. One of these beings got inside. Well, anyway, it triggered memory of of satanic abuse in in my own life and other kind of memories. And they were just there was a consciousness that they were always around. But when we came to the Lord and when I had my experience where Yahweh himself, the Father, just lifted me up and he was looking through my eyes and just changed everything. That It was um, literally unbelievable, just the, the power that I experienced there. They never bothered me again. Mm-hmm. Oh. Is that is, when you are in Christ, really in Christ, mm-hmm. really a servant of the Lord, really his son, his daughter, mm-hmm. uh, is this true that these demons kind of lay off you then? I mean... Uh, we do get attacks, but I don't get the, 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 like I say, this UFO. What are the UFOs? 
<laughs> just go there with it. Yeah, the the the, the you the, the uh, DDC, they are a, a kind of courts that 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 bind people together and then use them at the right time, the time they want to use them for. And so when you refuse the initiation yeah. and you come out of it, what they do is that they follow you for about five years. They do. Yeah, they follow you for about five years to see whether they can track you back. And finally, if they, they realize that they cannot track you back, they may even assign a spirit to be tormenting you, not to reside in you, but to be holding an area of your life and to be making sure that that area will not do well. It's true. It is so true that the, you know, certain parts of your life, employment, whatever, um, it doesn't matter how talented you are. You're, you're, That's right. You're, you're, all your talents, you can work your butt off getting somewhere with you. Of course, you shouldn't covet your talents. You should just give them to the Lord and say, okay, then you use them. You know, I, I've got no in. I can't make it here in the, in the world without the Lord. Uh, and the Lord finds a way. But I, that's what I finally had to come to, that, that the talents that I had were not going to be used unless I uh, changed my mind. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. Well, this is something I've, I've, I've known firsthand. And no matter how hard you try, the world's door is slammed shut. And I say, hallelujah, That's praise right. the Lord. Thank God it slammed shut because who wants what they've got? Slavery, <laughs> uh, ruined lives, death. Well, tell, tell us, uh, Bishop Kanko, about your experience when you, you know, came to Jesus. What, uh, how did that whole revelation take place in your life and what happened? You see, uh, after the death of my father, that is a long time ago, I, I literally took over because I was trained and groomed to take over from because I'm the first born boy of my father. And we, we, uh, we succeed our fathers. So one day I have gone to a, a club with, with some people and then around them. Because you couldn't say come to Jesus, they, everybody knew knew who I am. My father is. Everyone know that we are so dangerous and so powerful that if they joke with us, we may destroy them. So even the Christians mm-hmm. were really afraid of us. So nobody could say Jesus loves you. So we've gone to this club, and around midnight, around twelve o'clock to twelve thirty, I had an unusual uh, stomach uh, abscess. So I decided to come home and come to sleep, and then I would get up and do whatever I needed to do. So when I laid down 12.30, 1 o'clock, less than, and that particular, that faithful day, I don't have any activity with any anybody. So it's like a, a holiday for about five, six hours, because when you are working for the devil, you are allowed to only rest two hours. But that day, I'm supposed to rest about between four to five hours. Then when I lay down between 12.30 to 1, between 2, 2.30, I heard the voice. Now, in, 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 in Satan's kingdom, you do before you complain. You do before you complain. Whether it is your time to go and work or not, you do before you go and complain. Then they will explain. So when I heard my name, I said, but today I don't have any assignment. But nevertheless, that is how it is you do before complaint. So I started contacting the East. Normally, when you hear these voices, the first thing you must do is to contact so that they will give you signal and give you instruction. So I signal East. Nobody was there. I went to the West. No, no, but nobody was there. So I became a bit surprised because it has never happened. It has never happened. As soon as you, the first contact, you, you, you receive some instructions from them and you just c- carry on. East and West, nobody was, was there. I went to the North. I went to the South. I went to the Middle. Everything was shut down. Quiet. Then I started panicking. There I knew something strange has happened. I knew I'm in trouble. So what I did, did was that I went back to bed again. Then Around 3.34, the voice called me again. I got up. You know, I don't know Jesus, so I don't know the, 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 the voice or the difference between Jesus and Satan. I know only one voice. So I spoke. I said, uh, I have 
done the contacting, but nobody mm -hmm. seems to give me any signal. That's why I went back to sleep. Then he says, go take your, your bath. And that is where I realized that something has happened because <laughs> we don't bath. <laughs> I mean, assignment or, or pe pe performing your duty as agent of the devil, <laughs> the cleanliness is not part of it at all. Mm -hmm. So for me to go and bath, it, it became... It came as a surprise to me. But like I said, you, there you do before you complain. So I obey one to pat my mouth. That, that was on Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. Then when I finished arguing and finally went to have my mouth and dressed up, it was about 5.36. Then he told me when it is 7.38, I should walk to Assemblies of God Church. I said, my God, we don't fire by day. We fire by night because... If you fire by day, the natural laws of the land will take care of you. So we don't do by day. We, we don't matter physically. We matter spiritually. Then it comes into physical. That one, nobody can even uh, trace it. But why do you want me to go to these people? These people are the people who are really always fighting against us. And, 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 and why do you want me to go? They says, go to a summons of God. So there too, I resisted a bit. So around 8 o'clock, there was a very big heavy hand at the back of my pants to raise my two legs and started pushing me into the chair. Now, what wow. the reason, I, what I realized that it is different was that when I came out of my, my room with that hand pushing me, I heard all the demons hooting at me. Oh, 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 shit. They were hooting at me. And that is where I realized that what is happening to me is different from what I know. When I go to the church, to my surprise, they were, they were, they were, they were worshiping God. When I go to the church, to my, my surprise, they stopped worshiping God. They said, we are going to do warfare because they, they believe that somebody has come to challenge the power, the power of God. I mean, there's no way I'll go to church. I mean, I mean, there's no way I'll go to church. They know. They know my grandparents, my, Father, they know. So they said, no, let us be wise. Let's begin to bring the fire of God upon upon any spirit, any power, any human agent. At that time, I was really suffering. What was happening to me, I cannot exp explain. So I sat down, put my head on the table, and the people were raining fire. And I, I tell you, it was hot, but the hand was so that I could not get up and go, go out. I was glued to the seat. Then after some time, the preacher said, okay, we have really prayed for, for God to take control. Let's now bring the word. I was so my head was hold down. After the word of God, he says, okay, whoever wants to receive Jesus as Lord and personal Savior, God is so faithful. God is so merciful. I saw the hand raise me like this from the chair, push me into the front. When I got to the front, the preacher man said, hey, take, take care. Don't come and deceive anybody. I mean, they didn't believe. They said, hey, take care. Don't get close. Don't get close. Don't get stay where you are, and don't come and mock God. God is not to be mocked. Meanwhile, meanwhile, you have invited us to come. Uh, and Jesus. Wow. <laughs> you know what? So, so because they were surprised. I mean, there was no way I would teach it. They were so surprised. Then I told them I want to receive Him. So I lifted my hands, and then they, I said the sinner's prayer. Say after me. I did it. I said the sinner's prayer. And then after that they prayed for me, I went back to sleep. I, so I, I went back to the to the to to, to 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 sit down. Then when we closed I went twelve thirty one. They said all members should stay. Visitors you can go. So the hand raised me up again, pushed me, and I could see that they were praying where I was sitting. They were actually casting demons and breaking the curses and everything. Now when two o'clock I got to my, my room. The hand pushed me into my board, my bed, and the door was locked. I fell asleep. I did not see anything again. When I opened my eyes, it was about 12, 12, 30, midnight. Then somebody who has a pound of crown on his head, the blood was oozing, the hand was full of blood, the face was blood, and when I saw it, my jaw got locked, so I couldn't scream. Wow. Then, yes, then he was there for about two, three, four minutes, and he disappeared. So the following morning, I got up and told the pastor, I said, I saw a man. I said, I didn't kill any white man. 
but I know I have killed. I know I have killed, but because here, all of us are black. I have never tried to kill anybody who is white, but this man is full of blood looking at me. So the man, the pastor asked me, what is this you are saying? He didn't say anything. So he prayed with me, he says, go. So I forgot about it. The following morning, the following night, that night, I went back to sleep. 12.31, he appeared again. My jaw was, see, I can't say because my jaw was locked. Mm. He, yes, he looked, he showed it to me. I, the following morning, I said, the man has come again. Please, can you beg him for me? I don't remember killing any white man, but can you beg for me? And the pastor laughed. We prayed again. Then on the third day, listen to what he said. On the third day, when he appeared before me, this time he spoke, and he spoke English. He says, for this reason that I went to the cross, that your sins can be forgiven. Yes. Now, all what you did has been forgiven. Amen. Now, I will remember it no more. But I want you to now go to my churches and tell them what you have seen and tell them what you did and tell them what the enemy is doing and expose them so that they can be saved and delivered because I am coming very, very soon. As soon as they finished, I got up to up there to one. I went to the pastor. I said, today the man has spoken. The, the man has spoken. He says, what did he say? So I told him what I told, told you. So we prayed and we prayed and we prayed and we prayed. And then he says, okay, then from, from this time, keep on praying. Keep on staying the word. Now what happened was that when I became born again, my eyes were still there. I had 15 eyes. I can see from my back, from my size everywhere. Now the eyes were there and my heart was like, it was hard as stone. I didn't, I didn't feel any pain for anybody. If somebody's hurting, I, I rejoice. If somebody's crying, I become excited. If somebody is, is really hurting, lost a loved one and is really hurting, I, I begin to rejoice. So when I got born again, all these things were, 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 were there. So I remember my few days in church, I nearly caused confusion. Because I'm going to seek Jesus. Then you will see what is and what is that also coming in church, sitting there. Then I'll tell the pastor, Pastor, this woman, this man is a witch. Then the pastor will tell me, look, it is gradual process. Don't tell anybody that they are witches. I say, but I see them. I say, we know. Don't yeah. tell them because yeah, yes, don't tell them. I got a few but, churches to take you here. We could go travel around the country and we could we could you know clean it up around here. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. So anyway, you had this amazing deliverance is going on and you're telling people what's going on. Now you're at the church and you and because of your own background, your own life and generations, you say, Well, wait a second, there's witches in this church, Pastor. That's right. That's right. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man. Said, no, we don't have, I don't have to behave in such a manner as it were. So it took time before all the eyes were plugged out. It took time for me to feed for people when people are hurting. It took time for all the demons in my, my, in my spirit to leave. It took about two years to two and a half years for all the wrong stuff in my body and myself to just go, come. Mm -hmm. Two and a half years. I got born again. It took two and a half years. For God to purge me and purge me well, sanctified me, yeah. and then push me into the front and say, "Now you can speak my word." So it was full gospel businessmen's fellowship international, Demon Shakarin. They came to uh, Ghana and they introduced this 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 kind of full gospel. You know, full demons in my my in my spirit to leave. It took about two years to two and a half years for all the wrong stuff in my body and myself to just go come. Mm -hmm. Two and a half years. I got born again, it took two and a half years for God to purge me and purge me well, sanctified me, yeah. and then push me into the front and say, now you can speak my word. So it was full gospel businessmen's fellowship international, Demon Shakarin. They came to uh, Ghana and they introduced this, this, this kind of full gospel. You know, full gospel, they don't preach, they only give testimony. Right. So they told him, oh, then we have a guy who has amazing testimony. If you don't preach and you only give testimony, then we know that this guy's testimony will blow your mind. When the, the first day demons had my testimony, he got from your chair and sit another chair, got up again, sit another chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Wow, look at my game and look at me and look at my game so, and say, my God. <laughs> now, now you preach the word of God. You speak the word of God. You walk yes. in the spirit. You, you, yes. you're a leader in your country. You have yes. a, a big church. And a big church. It, it, lots of people are coming. Yes, a lot of people. A lot of people are coming. Oh, praise God. Well, you know yes. what? They, 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 you know, they, they've, They've lived under the yoke of that slavery so long. They deserve it. When they recognize it, I'll bet some of them just drop everything and run to the cross. That's right. That's right. And just they're so happy to, 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 that there's a, finally a solution. That's right. Well, you That's see, right. okay, so Western folks, what's wrong with you? you <laughs> run to the cross. Well, you know, funny, a friend of mine said he was going to start a, uh, an outreach program for pastors to, mm -hmm. to help them become born again. That's right. That's right. He said it didn't go over too well. Mm -hmm. oh. said, no, it didn't. It wasn't too successful. He said, "Wait, I want to help you get born again, so you can really just drop all this witchcraft and all this garbage you do here and get on with it." Mm -hmm. but anyway, uh, it's truly amazing. We only scratch the surface, folks, in this hour. Right. And I hope. Uh, can we have another uh, talk before you know? Well, you don't. It doesn't matter where you are. We could call you, but I mean, can we? Have a follow up? Yes. To this? Yes, we can do that. Okay. I would love to do that because okay. I, the, the whole thing about the sea and that people don't really understand a lot of the creatures they think are terrestrial are really in the sea and they're coming out of the sea and they're, they're human beings in these cities and there's also a spiritual city underneath the United States mm -hmm. that uh, Bishop Canco knows about. And uh, we can't really get into that right now, but I. Yeah. I but a lot of people think there's an underground here, <laughs> uh, something underneath America. Mm -hmm. And I'd love to get into that at, at another time. But okay. I suppose you and, and Africa would know about that in America because if, you're, if you have a background in, in, in wizardry and all that, you can see all the countries. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Now, when we do the further up, I'll, I'll pull out some, some, some interesting things. I see. So you can, yeah. So and then now, of course, walking in the spirit, we know all things that the Lord wants to show us. So uh, there's nothing really hidden. The, look, the main warning and the main thing about Bishop Kenko is that you, we cannot even dabble or even get close. And, and even with unbelievers, we have to be careful as well. We have to really cherish the gift that was given us and protect it. Yes. And I think that's, uh, you know, is there a possibility that uh, people could get sucked back in if they're not careful yeah, is it? can they can they can people get tied back into the occult if they're not careful? yes 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 it's possible and yes if you're not careful you can get tied back in the cults and witchcraft everything because you see he's still looking for those who are who are who 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 is gone to to come back so if you're not careful it he will pull you back he will tie you back again so we need to be careful by studying the Word of God, going into the Word, and practicing the Word, and allowing the Word of God to rule us. And Sunday, we got a great response from everybody about Bishop Kanko, uh, Bishop Vagalas Kanko from last week, which we aired on Spirit Talk Sunday. And But we just touched the tip of the iceberg. So see what we're going to do right now is get right into it. Welcome back, Bishop Kanko. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Well, and, 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 and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, too. I, <laughs> I think it's a, g a good idea. I had, well, since we talked, mm -hmm. all hell is broken loose. Mm -hmm. I have been put into front and center of the battle, mm -hmm. and I feel that you did pray for me. Is that true? Yes, I prayed seriously. Because I, I, I told Trish, mm -hmm. I know he prayed for me. I, I prayed seriously because I knew you were going to go through a lot of battle because uh, the certain things I was coming out with, and what I'm going to come out with today is going to really make the devil mad. So we started praying and praying and praying and praying. <laughs> okay, because I yeah. I felt the benefit of it, but I was really, yeah. I haven't been so taxed. And, and yeah. I know, the, I, I always feel good in the Lord, you know what I mean? I feel like, yeah. at the I don't, but I tell you, I was really tested. We had a battle about this divinity. It seems that this divinity of Jesus is one front that um, we, I've been saying all week, repeating like, like Jesus is God. Everywhere I go, Jesus is God. Jesus is God. And um, there was a talk show uh, host that um, 
was promoting that Jesus is not God, and then there was a reversal, and they actually had a two-hour show about Jesus having someone on that really is good with apologetics and and putting it all out there that Jesus is God and proving it. So we had good news since the last show, but at the same time, something happened to me, and I Mm -hmm. want to get, before we get your information, I just want to... I feel that uh, there was something stolen from me, like a piece of my soul or something, when I was younger. Mm-hmm. And this was revealed to me mm-hmm. uh, about a week ago. Mm-hmm. So I just, just embattled. And um, mm-hmm. anyway, uh, the Lord showed me that, you know, this is something that goes on, that people steal other people's talents Mm-hmm. And, um, excuse me, I didn't realize I would get choked up over this, mm-hmm. but uh, anyway, um, I'm going to pause the tape. Mm-hmm. Sorry. It's okay. Leave it in there, man. Okay, here we go. We're continuing on. <laughs> but that uh, in this particular case, this person... Mm-hmm. It was like, you, you know, could have been why I'm doing music now and, mm-hmm. and that they, I went, wound up in some kind of a, you know, taken off to an insane asylum and this person went off to be a rock star or whatever, you know, I mean, just very famous doing that, which, and it looked to me, what was revealed to me that he was stealing another guy who was a very talented guy, wound up dead, but this guy who just looks all innocent, you know, and he's, yeah. I'm not going to mention all, the, the, who he is, but just say that... Um, it was shown to me in the spirit. I was taken there and shown how he had the souls of, I don't know, thousands of souls that were living in him that he'd stolen. Mm-hmm. You're still there, okay? And, mm-hmm. and, 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 and That he had stolen that that gave him this shine or his he would glow. Mm-hmm. And that gave him this, this magical ability to just, you know, go from like, say, high school into you know, um, the big time and, you know, continuing mm-hmm. on. Anyway, that then the spiritual work that was done was to, you know, bind it as to, what I saw the Lord do is open up like the chest or solar plexus area mm-hmm. and let all these spirits out mm-hmm. so they could all return or go wherever they needed to go. And then I right. realized a piece of me was in there, too. Mm-hmm. So is, mm-hmm. is that true? Yes, yes, it can be so. Okay. They can be so easily. Huh. Mm-hmm. So there's a technique where people can steal a piece of you. Yes, they can be, yes, you're right. Like they, you have a talent in something and they can just go ahead and take it. They can just go ahead and that's right. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I didn't have any understanding of it. So I feel like I missed out. <laughs> you know, that uh, a lot of my life was wasted because of that. <laughs> uh God, God is going to replenish it. Don't worry. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, it had been on my mind for a week. <laughs> then, you know, then uh, fighting with all these demons uh, who are trying to get Jesus to not be God. And that <laughs> seems to be the, the other. Then that hit me right after that. So it's been like one thing after another. Mm-hmm. And so they don't want you to be, you know, getting back to me as a talk show. I they, know. They don't I want, know. People don't want to know that, uh, or they don't want you to tell mm-hmm. about all these spirits that control things on Earth, and they take people. That's right, because yes, yeah, because if they know, they will be free. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, let me just then let's go into the next part. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. folks, but uh, this is just the way that uh, I have no idea what's going to happen uh, emotionally when we get involved and. All this stuff. But uh, Bishop Kanko has been nice enough to be here a uh, second time for a follow-up, and we talked about the spirits under the sea. I did yeah. also a talk last week about this soul-stealing stuff, about a piece here, a piece there, and they just try to rob you until you're nothing. Well, what I see the Lord doing with these people is that uh, he's o- opened them up and let all those souls go, and they're just going to be like an empty balloon and just collapse, you know. But, uh, okay. So we talked about the spirits on the sea. You know uh, that Bishop Kanko is from uh, Ghana. His, yes. his family is uh, fourth. He's fourth generation, uh, if you will, witch doctor or wizard. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, he has seen with his father the city under the sea. It opened up, and he could see that there were numerous cities under the sea and that these spirits from under the sea and in other areas that are off-world, let's say in other dimensions, they tend to control things upon the earth through, I guess, the free will of people, that they control things upon the earth until Jesus returns to put an end to it. And so let me ask you, let me just start off with this uh, question. Uh, we talked about the spirits under the, um, under the city, under the, the ocean. Mm-hmm. Does that mean any ocean, or is it the Indian Ocean, or the... What ocean? No, all the oceans. All the oceans. All the oceans, there are, are cities under the sea. Okay. Yes, because oceans is happened to be the dwelling place of the, all the uh, water spirit or marine, marine spirit. And the grandmother of all marine spirit is called Manati. So, so ocean is, is, is where all the, the it, that is the base of all the, the dwelling place of all the marine spirit. And that is where you'll find the different type of cities under the sea. And then these cities exist there. And then people also go there for different things and different things like promotion like power to become a president, a government, like businessman, like etc., etc. Et so that city is being pro- 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 provided by uh, a, a human being, those who are missionaries and those who are Freemasons and other mm-hmm. uh, people who want business, big-time business, who want power, who want protection, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And so that is how it is. But basically, under the ocean, all the oceans have seas have uh, cities, and the uh, grandmother of all uh, marine spirit or water spirit is in the sea. And apart from the ocean, all the water that bodies that you see, like the river and the lake, mm-hmm. there are water spirits inhabiting those uh, clear, clear waters. But uh, like I said, the grandmother of, all, of the base, or uh, the base, or the capital, or, or the headquarters of all marine spirits is 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 is, is in the ocean. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, the, these uh, tend to, you, you talked about psychic computers. That's right. These are in the second heavens, you know. We have, the, the heavens has been divided into three. The God's heaven, and then after God's heaven, you come to the, the throne, that, that you, you, you come to the second heaven, and the second heaven, you come to the third heaven. Now, the second, the second heaven is where Satan uh, and habit. <coughs> that is where all the <coughs> pro- programs of various things to destroy uh, to de- de- to destroy are being uh, are being uh, are, are organized. So we have the psychic computers there, and we have all the space programming and all the things being uh, happening in the second heaven. So that is where pro- space programming and psychic computers and all the things are there, and they. Pro, the program according to what they want to 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 to, to do under the sun. Why? Okay, because I feel completely, totally oppressed here on Earth, mm-hmm. and I wonder. You know, I have the joy of the Lord, but I just wonder sometimes why doesn't He just move? Why do we Ooh. all have to suffer so much? You know, where you just no, we we no, we are not suffering. Pro- probably. What we will pr- pr- probably we are not using the word of God the way we should use it. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, because of my background, I have come to really understood God seriously. You know what? He has every problem under the sun. The solution is in the word of God. But what happens is that Satan and his host would make sure that we become disinterested when it comes to the word of God. Now, look, how many people, how many Christians really uh, are so much interested in the word of God, like Bible studies and extra, extra? How many Christians in this nation take time before they leave for work, go into the word for even 20 minutes? You see, our strength uh, lies on the word. And for your eyes to be opened and for your understanding to be enlightened, you need to get into the Word of God. Yes. Now, if it's the Word of God that strengthens us, it is our hope in the Word and our trust in the Word that conquers. But you know what? The Word of God is not even enough. 
uh, to, to be able to confess our faith, that God-given faith God has given us, we got to have the Word of God. Because without the Word of God, it becomes a canal confession. That is what we are going through. What we are going through. But the Word of God is there to counteract and to come against every strategy of the enemy concerning our lives. You see, how many of us even trust the Word of God? And that is why it seems that we are suffering. But we are not suffering as such. A lot of us so much ignorant. I mean, so much ignorance about the Word of God. They don't even know what the Word of God is saying concerning particular situations and circumstances. So therefore, they cannot even apply the Word of God to meet whatever they want to. So in the absence of applying the Word of God, in the absence of policy, the Bible says mm-hmm. God is a just God. So if you fail to, to, to take your rightful position in the Lord and allow the Word of God to be your shield, to be your, your banner, to be your parish, to be your stronghold, there is no way, no way you can you will enjoy Christian life. <laughs> to enjoy Christian life and to have that kind of power and peace, we need not to look left and right, but to go into the Word. And he says, and you do what the Word says. According to the book of uh, Deuteronomy, it says, you have my covenant, keep them and do them that ye may prosper. You know, according to the, book, the same as Deuteronomy, it says, today I have put before you blessing and a curse. You know what? So it is up to us to choose the blessing. That is by admitting the word of God the way it is from the book of Genesis to Revelation into our spirit Mm -hmm. and try to walk in the word and let the devil know that Jesus is Lord of all. Jesus is the son of the living God. With this man, you are covered. But you see, how many of us, how many Christians do spend even good quality time, 20 minutes, 5 minutes in the word with the Lord? We're always busy. We're always busy. So the power that we needed to generate it, to generate from the Word of God is not there. So at the end of the day, we we are we are fighting a losing battle because our weapons, the Bible says our weapons are not cut out. So we don't even have the weapon to come against whatever the enemy is doing because we have failed to go into the Word of God. You see, that is why you th- it thinks we are suffering. Now, I have a need. I even share with your wife. Mm-hmm. I trust God. I say, pray for me. My daughter has, has, has obtained a beautiful scholarship to, to read medicine in England for the last who put 40,000. Yes. I don't have it. But I know that before a, 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 a January 6th, God will give me because I hope in his way. I trust God. I believe in his way. I mean, he has promised and he will never, ever fail. How many of us can trust the word to the letter? How many of us can trust God without fidgeting, without doubting, without trying to help God, without trying to cut corners? But you see here, I have put my trust 100% into the word, telling God that, Lord, you can use anybody at all. Because when he wanted to pay a tax, he went to the fish. He collected the money from the fish, <laughs> you know. So he even used fish to pay his taxes. So he can use anybody <laughs> under the sun. So I am open, and I know that by by that because the deadline is on the on the on the first January. I know by fifth, I will pull that forty thousand to the Oxford University for my daughter to the glory of God to do medicine and become a medical officer and serve Jesus. That'd, you be, know? that'd be wonderful. <laughs> I, I yeah. This is a is a need that uh, you know Bishop Kanko is believing. I mean, a lot of yeah. you don't have like a forty thousand dollar deadline coming up in three weeks. <laughs> yes. but he, but, but you see, he's unwavering in the faith and to believe it. You know, the same thing happened to me when I was uh, being sued for five hundred thousand dollars. You see, by the uh, IRS. <laughs> You've heard of the mm-hmm. uh, Internal Revenue Service mm-hmm. uh, because of the fact they said I did not send in my appeal. Mm-hmm. Uh, of the tax thing, it had something to do with um, a, a loss that I had had and, and, a, and a write-off back when I was doing films. Mm-hmm. And uh, they said I wasn't, I didn't do any film, and I didn't have. And the thing is, I did do a film, and we sent the thing in, and then they they intentionally lost it. Well, we prayed, mm-hmm. and we believed God, and well, here's something that never happens with the IRS. Mm-hmm. My accountant called him at the time, and, the, and he said, "Oh, let me look again." And then he, he said, oh, I found your document. You, you see? And then, now, how many times does a bureaucrat reverse himself? You see? 
and say that and, and have a change of heart like that. I've never Not, seen nothing. You see, God. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we yes. believe, and I have to say, my wife Trish, that she really, uh, you know, she had really the, the 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 heavy faith going right there, and it happened. It worked out well. We got the appeal. Went to the to the did, we got you know did not have to go to court for that. We went to uh, the appeals office, and within about oh an hour, we were released. We owed no tax. You see God. You see Jesus. I can't. Be- <laughs> I just want to remember that blessing in relation to you, Bishop uh-huh. Can't Go, because you know a lot of times people say, "Well, go read the Book of Job." Mm-hmm. A lot of people will say, "Well, you know, my people perish for lack of knowledge." Please That's right. Go say see Hosea four six. Yes. And 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 get in. You know, understand lack of knowledge. <laughs> understand Job. Really, he was blessed when he changed. That's right. When God was done changing him, then he restored him. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I right. guess I'm I'm going through <laughs> right now. <laughs> a change. Because you know I had been. I have to admit to you that uh, yeah. I had been. You know, there's a lot of pressure on me, especially doing what I I do, to kind of let things slide here and there. I know. Mm-hmm. You know, to in other words, if someone comes in with a little doctrine that's a little different. Well, and I haven't been doing that. I've been staying right on it, but then I've been getting all this attack because I, you know, I'm not going to have someone that says uh, Jesus is not God, and then I'm well, then I'm not going to I'm not going to do a show about that. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're so, not sure. Yeah, you're right. So, but I, you know, I try to explain to some of the people I've had arguments with that there are demons, there are spirits that cause these arguments to happen. Yes. And, and they look at me and they say, I don't see any spirits. I know you don't see them. But I, I don't hate you. I don't want to argue with you. The thing is, there's something coming between us, and there are spirits right. that, that really want to to attack us and really want to get it. So these spirits would indicate to me, uh, Bishop Kanko, that we are followed, or they, mm-hmm. they watch us 24 hours a day. Yes, I know. They watch you. I know. Okay. I know. <laughs> and so, is a lot of this then coming from the sea? Mm-hmm. Yes. It's, it's coming from the sea. Wow. <laughs> now you've been to this city and it's all laid out. Now you said also there's a there's a city under the United States. Yes, yes. Well, let's talk about that for a second. What is that city and what 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 do they do there? Yeah, that city is a very very beautiful city. What they do is that all the Masonic and all the lodge. You know what what is what is what what lodge is? The the lodge. lodge. Lodge, yeah. Lodge. Masonic. Ma- 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 Masonic lodges, that's, okay. Ma- that, that's right. That is, that is where they meet to take very, very, very big decisions. Like the United States of America, if you don't belong to certain group, there is no way you can vote as a president. Right. It, you, there's no way you can get voted as a president. There's no way you can get voted as a senator. That, that is where decisions have been taken for the whole world. That's how it is. And the big businessmen, big, big art, actors and art, art, artists, that is where they, they go. And then, and then this is, this is, that is what it is. So you, 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 so, so you, you go there and you meet all these guys because they really need, they really need the assistance of these demonic powers in order for, for, for them to have in influences, and that that city that is under America is 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 all the all the uh, uh, demonic um, uh, 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 laws that are coming out like abortion, like gay, like lesbian, like take the Bibles out of the public school. Like we don't want to listen, we want to take God with us from the, from our currency. That is where it, 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 it happened. That is where it emanated. So basically. The, that city under the sea in America fight against everything that God has established the, during, the, during the time of the, the founding fathers. Mm-hmm. So that, 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 that is how it is. I've seen um, myself that the, there was a time I had a vision of like another dimension, and uh-huh. there was another, uh, like I saw through... To uh-huh. see that there was a party going on with a huge clown face that was Satan, uh-huh. and it was uh-huh. just like a big mask. And then all these uh-huh. people were bringing their children, and then it was revealed to me that these people go uh-huh. to and fro. They go to this other world, and that's uh-huh. what all the secrecy is about. And they take their 
kids in some cases, and they're there, they're all happy, and they, they go and they have their celebrations and this and that. In these other, it's like right next to our dimension. Aha, uh-huh, aha, uh-huh, you're right. And I've seen, I've seen it, and I saw the people that they were there. When mm-hmm. I, when they saw that I could see them, they started mocking me and attacking me. Mm-hmm. And of course, it got to the point where they almost killed me because they saw that I knew. And That's right. That this is this is what the big secret is of why people get killed on the UFOs and all that. It's That's because, right. Because there's this other dimension right next to ours. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and I've mm-hmm. seen it. Like I say, I've seen it. I've seen the people there. I've seen them. Uh, they, uh, I remember one time I saw the, the thing would change and there'd be a house that right. would be, it wouldn't be the same thing. And then it would be, the lights would be on at three in the morning. Uh-huh. And then I would stand outside in the dark and all these people dressed up in like tuxedos and stuff would go to a window and start waving at me from a yeah, house. You're right. uh, and I said, how can you see that I'm even there? Mm-hmm. And they just start mm-hmm. waving at me like, hi, <laughs> hi, we see that you see you're in trouble now. <laughs> And I didn't. I haven't seen that in years. I pray not to ever see that again. I just. I guess the. It was shown to me, so I would know that it does exist. And then I, I thought it was just I was you know in a dream or hallucinating. And then my friend said, "Oh, just because you know you it doesn't seem normal, it doesn't mean you didn't see it. You did see it, and they're going to kill you. They're going to kill you because you saw. And I think this is what you saw. I think being in your you know, the business your family was in, I think you've seen all these things, but uh, I don't think people even realize that mm-hmm. that there, uh, there's a lot of people amongst us who go to those places. Yes, a lot, a lot, a lot. You know, there was a time I was a ministry in, in Chicago and one man pulled it and said, Bishop, you know too much. We don't want you, if you want to be sitting in America, we don't want you to start reading the house, we will deal with you. <laughs> the following me, and uh, Chicago, and then when I found out that they, they called me, there were four. They called and said, hey, you know so much. We wanted to shut up. <laughs> you are not going to be in America. If you want to be in America, you better shut up. You better shut up. <laughs> you see? Well, so, so, like, there are a lot of people. And when you expose it, it becomes a big blow in the kingdom of the devil. And his people, his agents, start, start, start looking for you. Like you said, because that is where all the big actors, that is where all the big, big businessmen that you see, big, big, that is where all the things happen. Any influence, uh, manipulations, all the man- manipulations happen. How come that I even told them why? Because when in, the, in, in my last meet with them in the city, uh, under the sea, especially in the uh, uh, American, that was where they decided that. The yes is coming, they would have to take, in order to succeed, pollute Americans so that it will affect the world, they will have to take the Christian Bible from public schools and make sure that uh, anything to do with Christ, to do with Jesus, will not be this and again. So that is where, and, and, and to my su- surprise, they started taking this Bible out of the public school. They started saying, you can't do that, you can't do this. Now they are contemplating even to take in God we trust in God. Can you believe that? And, and, mm-hmm. and it happened right in my face when I was yeah. there. Yeah, no, it, when it, I was there. It, it happens, and that's why they don't want you to know, because then you would understand about these, you know, other dimensions. I'm just saying that there are people that go there at the same time. There are people that ride on the UFOs. I was aware of that. that yes. These elites, these people in these secret societies, and I was right. aware they that they're connected to the UFOs. In fact, they fly to different planets. I mean, this is going to sound crazy, but they fly around right. in, in them just as comfortable as you please. And, and I, I was running from them. I didn't want them to get me. And, right. uh, and I found, I told people about these things, and they said, yes, yes, we, we know all about them. What's wrong with you? You could have a good life. <laughs> all you have to do is say yes, mm-hmm. and then, then you can fly around in them too. <laughs> you see, and that's and that was, you know, something that I'd known as a child, and uh, you know, that's where I really started fighting this whole reality. Was I realized it's not just another world, but then again, they they have access to the stars already. The, the people here think, Bishop Kanko, that they that we haven't yet known the mystery of the UFOs, the aliens, the different places and planets you can go, the different worlds and sea cities and undersea cities and underground cities. They don't realize that all this has been established for almost forever, it seems, 
that they, they've been doing this all the time while the rest of us have been sitting here like slaves. Mm-hmm. You're right. Like slaves, you're right. But, but how many are involved uh, in this? I am a lot. Is it ha- half? More than half. More than half would be able to fly around and see yes, all this stuff. Yes, yes, yes. More than half, yes. And they know who we are. Just if we okay. if we show up somewhere, would they know that we're not one of them? Yes, you should. Yeah, they, they know. They certainly know that you're not one of them at all. They know. They call us enemy. They call us the rebellion people. They they say we rebel against their master. And we, when we show up. They definitely, they definitely know that we are not one of them at all. We are among the rebellious people, rebelling against their master any day, any time. So they know you. They know you. When you show up, they know that you are not part of them. Because they say that they told me that I was crazy. They yes, said, that's how, what they said. Yes. They said, how could you, you know, I mean, how could you not get this? Mm-hmm. You're nuts. Mm-hmm. You're, you're just crazy. You need to be locked yes. up. You need to be taken out of society. Mm-hmm. You're right. Separated so that you can't harm anybody. <laughs> and that's that's the treatment that I've I've noticed, and I've noticed that there are a lot of people that say they're Christians that they don't get the same kind of treatment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they're, they're accepted. Yes, because they, because they know that you don't belong to them, so you don't get any treatment. Mm-hmm. You don't believe you are enemy. You don't belong to them. But there's no way they're going to treat with you kindly at all. Okay, what happens to them upon death that go to the different UFOs and they think, what do they think they're going to become eternal or what happens to them in their lives? What happens is that you see, they, 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 the devil deceive them that they're going to be eternal. It's a, de- it's a deceit. They haven't dis- discovered. You, see, you, cannot, you cannot discover it unless you get born again. But so long as you are bound and you are there, you think you're going to be an eternal. And that is that is a, a lie. And so, what happens is uh, okay. Then, then obviously they go to hell. Then that's right. That their their life when their life is over, even before, well, I've seen a lot of them where, where where people just quit dealing with them. In other words, they once they get old, I, I don't think they get used as much, so they don't get to play around and have fun. You are right. You know, you are right. You are hundred percent right. You are yeah, correct. So then that that ride the ride is over. The ride uh, is over. You're right. And, Correct. Yeah, and then they are in sorrow because they don't want their grandchildren to be hurt, so they keep their mouth That's shut. Right. You're right. You're right. You Correct. They don't, they don't want their grandchildren to be hurt, so they are correct. Oh gosh, <laughs> I you know having you confirm all this does not make me feel better. It makes me, I mean it makes me feel like okay, so I knew what was going on the whole time, but it still is not easy. Let's talk about black magic since we're really going to make get involved in all this <laughs> from your book. Black uh-huh. magic. These powers are used as being described in demonic books, cartoons, and movies. Mm-hmm. Are okay, and you mentioned um, TV shows like Roswell, Werewolf, American Werewolf in London, um, mm-hmm. the Vampire Slayer, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Teen Wolf, and mm-hmm. you mentioned Necronomicon. And that's I guess right. the work of H.P. Lovecraft. H.P. Lovecraft. That's right. That's wow, right. Mm-hmm. I was involved in doing a film of an H.P. Lovecraft book about reanim- <laughs> reanimator. I, you- yeah, but did you, did you do it? Well, I I didn't realize that the people that I was working with were were into Aleister Crowley. <laughs> you know, I have no idea why I was even there, but they were all they did the Necronomicon as a movie. My goodness, they, I think they, they they wanted to to steal you before you are aware you have already committed your, yourself. I, I well, there's something we can talk about off the air with that, but anyway, the Necronomicon they did. Uh, the whole thing of Cthulhu and, uh, you know, all these stories, um, uh, From Beyond, Reanimator, all those. And and then I realized later, like I said, they were into Aleister Crowley. But it says here, the Necronomicon has its place in modern black magic and transi-Gothian metaphysics. For example, there's now a whole line of materials on the hellish Lovecraft Cthulhu mythos, a uh, form of magic practice in darkest Satanism. That's right. So... There's something to H.P. Lovecraft. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, uh, go ahead. Well, these were usually considered fantasy books or books in horror, and mm-hmm. most people thought they were just they weren't real, but they were somehow just fantasy. That's it is, uh, they are real. It is, it's not fantasy at all. If you don't know, then the devil will make you feel that it's a fun, fantasy. You know, in the first place, the devil doesn't want people to know that. It's real. 
the way that, that he tries as hard as he can to think they are crap, they are all fan, fan, fantasy. How can this happen? I don't believe in that. But let me tell you, Jeff, it, it's real. They are there. And if you want to know that they are, they are there, then you better have to come to Jesus. Then the Lord will open your eyes for you to know that I tell you it's, it's real. Because the, the, the devil knows that when, when people discover, get to know that these things are there and these things are lies and these things are manipulation, nobody will go to them again. So he tried to keep the people bound mm-hmm. and to also force and also uh, circulate this false information that they are not real. They are just imagination. They are just had a high solution. They are just crap. And so people tend to believe these are not real. These are just imagination. These are just like that. In, not, in order to cover all these things, to be able to pull as many as he can to his kingdom. But you see, like, like you are doing now, God is using you and your station and your wife to bring about the knowledge that people need in this nation to know that Jesus alone is Lord and Jesus is the Son of a living, living God. Else, because if you don't get people like you as seed rod, right, that there's no way people are really going to know because the, all the preaching in, 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 in this nation, you don't even see them mentioning, telling people that no. the devil is real, so you have, you, you have to be very careful all the, where you go you have to be very careful. All the things you see, the things you do, the things you buy, you yeah. have to be very careful. Nobody. We, well, we talked about that, and then I got a, a, a word from the Lord that I shared because I do a, a kind of a prophetic preaching uh, during the week. And I, I re- only when I receive a word, though. And I received this word that said, beware to some of you. And I saw this in the spirit that somebody was going to take someone on a shopping trip and say, go ahead and get whatever you want, I'll pay for it. That's right. And, and uh, well, I alerted it, and I got an email back later, or I got word later through, through Trish, that one of our friends had just exactly that offer. <laughs> and the, the, they heard it on the word. You know, the, the word, I said, they heard the, uh, about it, and that, they didn't go on the shopping trip. So, I'm good. <laughs> because now you say that, the, okay, so we saw a, a show last night about Levi's jeans, and um, and Trish was saying, well, that belongs to Molech. Mm-hmm. You know, all the fashion and people. Yes, 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 yes. The fashion, yes, they all belong to Molech. Okay, and and it's possible that if you get into the fashions, so you yes. recommend just for, for people to you buy see, just. You, okay, go ahead. You see, yeah, you see, there is a difference between dressing and fashion. All right. Yes. And here, dressing is okay, but the fashion is being controlled. By Molech. Now, Molech is is a spirit that just have only human uh, female head and the female uh, private part and the and then the front. Mm-hmm. And what he does is that he brings this fashion to the world. Now, when they embrace it, it come along with pollution and contamination. Now, Molech is also the demon that goes around in the night, pulling the big men in the high places down by sleeping with them and getting them to be contaminated and getting them to spread this spirit of um, uh, fornication and spirit of lust around. So Malek is there. You know, uh, one of our meetings, uh, Satan wanted to, 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 to hit the church very, very strong. So he was finding a way, a means of getting to churches. And, you know, Malek and Jezebel raised their hands and said, we, well, we know how to, we know how to do it. We know how to contact contact them. We we know how to get in there. So they said we we're going to go we are, we are, we are going to go in there with fashion. And true through if you if you if you if you go to churches, you don't even know whether they are going to club or they are going to church. You see, you see that, that that that's what I said. Dressing is different from fashion. You will see a man in church with 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 his his splitted his hair like a woman put earrings like a woman. You will see a, a woman in church dressed like a man. And you see, so, so the fashion has not gotten into the house of God. Yeah? And so much that when you enter into the house of God, all that you see is condemnation and pollution. You don't even know whether you are in a club or actually you are in a church. So, so 
Molex in charge of fashion. He's also the demon in charge of posting their private plan for, for, for money and for, 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 for fun. He's also, he's also in, in charge of Nuduism. You see, so he is the one who comes out with fashion and people will just grab it up and it will cut fire and it will contaminate and then, and then pollute Christians. And if you're not very careful, then something big is happening. So that is that. Well, then, in this case, uh, this country is history. <laughs> I, I tell you, I, I know, I tell you, I tell you. Everything that we see in, in, in the world come, it came from here. All the dressing, all oh, the yeah. fashion. Movies, yeah, yeah. music. You know, yes, music, everything. Rock music, anime, everything. Pop music, everything is from here. So, 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 so that's it. So as soon as America em- embraces it, the whole world will surely embrace it. Well, I have to tell you, uh, Bishop Kanko, I've used, uh, being a musician myself, I've used the, um, uh, recently, a, you know, the form of rock and pop and different, different things they do, but I have a different thing going on in it. And it's, uh, and since that time, um, uh, it didn't really fool them. Uh, they are very offended by it. Because uh-huh. uh-huh. <laughs> it's, <in, laughs> it's in their own language. Well, no, I've, I've just lost all my airplay and, and, uh, you know, but it was, you know, some of the titles are Jesus is God. That's one mm-hmm. title, but done with a kind of a rock beat and feedback. Cause I grew up on all that and I'm using it. I think the, you know, I don't think it's really an error because it, it's not being accepted. <laughs> uh-huh, <laughs> but then okay. I did, uh, another one called, um, New Jerusalem. I mean, uh-huh. I mean, the list of my song, but it's being shown not in the Christian genre, but in the alternative rock genre or experimental genre. In other words, I've gone out there uh-huh. and amongst the heavy metal people and not amongst Christians, amongst just people that are, uh, you know, think they're uh-huh. Satanists and all that. And I think it's made some kind of a, a dent because people have listened. But I've noticed that when I didn't do that, they were all my uh-huh. friends. And then it's You're right. Uh, but they, <laughs> but they listen. In other words, I have more airplay than ever before in my life. But they, uh-huh. but they don't, uh-huh. they don't give me their name. In other words, they, uh-huh. don't, they act like they're not listening, but they are. It's weird. Uh-huh. You see, <laughs> they listen though. They, I have something like thirteen or fourteen thousand plays uh-huh. in, in about a month. You see, and and I'm going. Well, where all the where where are these people? They don't say who they are. Mm-hmm. So anyway, you see, uh-huh. now you see, mm-hmm. well. I see this whole world, yes, Bishop Kanko, I see this whole world you're talking about. I've tried to alert them, and they've said I was crazy. They, they make it very difficult um, to talk about things like cities under the sea, other d- dimensional cities, UFOs that the elites fly around on them like no big deal. Um, they have already access to, because they'll ask me, well, then why isn't someone like Henry Kissinger, you know, or one of these old dignitaries, that old, how uh-huh. come, why don't they look young then if they have all these powers? That is the deception. You see, you see, the Bible says, you see, if you are, if you are not, if you don't have the spirit of God, yeah. you tend to believe that everything. Can you imagine when you were in the world? <laughs> you used to believe all this. You see, if you don't have the truth in you, if you don't have the spirit of God in you, you then, you tend to, your eyes are blind to all these things. Like you are saying, why don't you look younger? But you see, they are bound. They are in bondage. They don't have the truth in them, so they, they can't see. Before they are aware, it is late, and they are crying for their grandchildren, their great grandchildren. But it is late at that time. That is the problem. Okay. <laughs> now, does Satan obviously requires human sacrifice? We've talked yes, about that. Yes, now, yes, yes. We talked about that last time. But the, let's talk about human sacrifice in America and Europe. Mm-hmm. Okay, so these people then that are more than half who have <laughs> been. You know, and they know about these cities and portals and other realms and other worlds and, and demons and gargoyles. They know all, they've seen it all and they're, yes. they're being quiet about it. They say, well, I didn't kill anybody, but, but do they? <laughs> you know, there is a, there is a place in this country that uh, in the night, a young man and young woman meet for physical and spiritual sex. And there, there a lot of human sacrifices goes on. Now, there is another, uh, there's a, a group of big elderly people in this nation. They belong to a particular group. Every month, they sacrifice not less than six babies and not less than uh, four teenagers. So every month, every day, 
people are getting missing in the United States of America, they are agents. They have agents who they hire people to just go around and collect children, collect young men, making sure that they use them for sacrifice. Yeah. I know. Well, so, I, we know we know what you say is true, Bishop, because we have guests on this show mm-hmm. who have admitted and they've come forth and they said, yes, they use me. Uh, when I, you know, when, uh, when I was much younger, they used me, they said to, to give, go out and hand out tracts, you know, Bible tracts. And they say, come, come to a meeting with us. We want to take you to a Bible meeting. They'd be on the streets. So they fill a van up with kids to go to a Bible meeting. And the, the, so the person lured them there and then they all, then they kill them for a sacrifice. That's right. That's and, what it's and, and so we have had people, we've had guests here admit that they've done that very thing. They participated right. in that very thing, but they said that, the memories were blocked out because they had multiple personalities and they That's right. they couldn't remember having participated. But then now that they're older, these memories are coming back that they led children to their deaths. And, uh, well, we talk about in your book, mm-hmm. uh, you know, first of all, if you want the book, you go to patholiday.com. That's two L's. That's right. Pat mm-hmm. Holiday with two L's dot com. Also, publishers, uh, they're looking for a publisher, but you can get the book in PDF format to read right now and download it by going to Pat Holiday with two L's dot com, uh, Pat Holiday dot com. And you can get this book. It's incredible. And I'm just going to everything we've been talking about today is in the book. I've, I've just been scrolling through the book and asking Bishop questions. And I have to tell you that it's 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 horrifying. We have another uh, chapter here called Children. Street children captured. Now, you remember, you recall uh, uh, Multi-JL and, and some of the guests we've had here that talk about, here's what the book says. Some children who were captured by witches and wizards from the city under the sea can be rescued and converted. I personally have known many of these human children that have been converted to Christianity. Okay, this is not being captured on, um, they were street children first, but then they were taken, right. to, they were taken to the city under the sea. Mm-hmm. But then here's something you didn't know, folks. It says... These children uh, of the underwater cities, some of these children belong to witchcraft families. Uh, however, many of these children are spiritual beings while they are, others are hungry street children that have been captured by Satan's agents and turned to witchcraft. These are children who have been abandoned by their parents and roam the streets. Mm-hmm. Sadly, they are throwaways and prime candidates targeted by the witches and wizards to turn them into witches and wizards. Furthermore, it goes on to say that uh, these children, the queens of covens. Now, every coven has a queen. Mm-hmm. And when people participate in the rituals, of whether it's be sex or blood, whatever it is, it, the queen, it's almost like the queen bee. She captures it, mm-hmm. you know, and uses that power uh, for, the, for the group. The queens of covens and the kings of wizards pick up street children, and these poor children are fed, and here we go, these poor children are fed portions of human flesh and drink human blood from their witches' pots. That's right. I mean, this is stuff that we see in cartoons. Mm-hmm. It's really real? Mm-hmm. It real, is. I tell you, real. You see, what you see in cartoons is what happens. You see, they bring what is happening, what happens into the cartoon. In fact, we are I'm even looking for somebody who, uh, let's say, if you want to act a film, I want them to come up with a, a form, a form, so that at least that one will speak volumes, you know. It, those what you see in the cartoons is real. Is what what is happening? They are not kidding you. Okay. Well, here human blood is used to appease the demigods. That's right. In exchange, they hope to be blessed by these gods. I'm reading right from the book, right from Bishop Kanko's own words here. In exchange, <laughs> they hope to be blessed by these gods with good fortune. Mm-hmm. They are given small pots, incense burners, special salts or herbs. Bells or gongs, tribal drums, animal parts, bones, candles, incense, amulets, talismans, and charms. They are taught to practice rituals such as ESP powers and talking to the spirits, and they have a morbid fascination with the dead or with death. They mar their flesh with self-mutilation. Well, there's a lot going on in that. They have a fascination with blood, including cutting themselves or making with tattoos or body paint. These children will show an unusual body movements and effects such as twitching, Ticks, rocking, glazed eyes, head banging, moaning or groaning, and chanting. It sounds like a mental hospital. Lack of empathy toward the uh, hurts of other people, and they act cruelly with inhumane acts against people and animals and vandalism. And we, we've, been, we've been ministering to some of these, too. 
Many of these children are directed to work evil powers against their relatives and sometimes even bringing about death mm-hmm. to prove. Now, when one of them brings about death, is can they do it with just their mind? Yes. They have, they have their mind. How does that work? Mm-hmm. You see, um, read that part again. Let me take my time and explain one by one. Okay, well... Um, just this is the last thing. Well, they have symptoms of twitching, ticks, rocking, glazed eyes, head banging, and they they cut themselves or try to morph their flesh into something it wasn't meant to be. That's Th- right. Then you say many of these children are directed to work evil powers against their relatives. That's right. Sometimes even bringing about death to them. That's right. To prove. Yeah, you see, yeah. What they do is that they leave their bodies. Okay. They leave their bodies and go. You see, they have the power to invoke the spirit of death. They have the power to, 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 to bring sicknesses to their loved ones and their families. They have the power to strike them while their families are, are, are in bed. They, they have the power to manipulate them. They have the power to put the spirit of uh, a fighting, fighting spirit. They have, they have the power to destroy ma- marriages. So all that the enemy wanted to use these young folks for is that to make sure that they cause a lot of havoc. Now, they have the power to invoke the spirit of death. They even bring death because they have the power to, 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 to do this. You know, remember, they possess extraordinary power. They are witches. And they, they are, they so witch, witchcraft involve their soul. Witchcraft involve their, 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 their world. So what, are, so what happens is that when they are operating, they leave their body and they could, they can do whatever they want to do. If they want to bring death to a person, it's, it's easy. If they want to strike a person with infirmities, it is very easy. If they want to manipulate somebody, it is very easy. If they want to man- manipulate you to commit suicide by hanging yourself or by taking pills, pill, it's very easy. If they, re- they really want you to, to smoke, to take drugs, they just release those spirits. So this is how they do it. But they, they can do it both, both at night because they have the eyes to see and they can do something in the spirit that you, you will not see. So what, what happens is that if it's in the night, then their soul, with, together with the witchcraft spirit, will leave their body while they are asleep and start doing that. So they will do that in the realms of the spirit, and within less than two weeks, 14 days, the thing will begin to uh, materialize, or you will see the physical manifestation of whatever they have done in the realms of the spirit. So if it is death, Within 14 days, the person will die. If it is sickness, infirmities, within 14 days, there will be illness. If it is to smoke, within 14 days, whatever. If it is divorce, the same thing. Because witches are in charge of divorce. You know, in, 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 in America, yeah. now divorce is a fashion, you know. And divorce also contaminates. It's spread. They contaminate. So they will just release the divorce. And when it gets into people, it's trivial things. Trivia, very trivial things. They didn't want to divorce because they can handle no more. It is, it is highly spiritual. And these are the kids because the kids are very fast and they are innocent and they don't, they, they cannot think themselves. They, they, they are able to do the job very well. That is why they, they use them. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, there's a lot there. So within 14 days, and I, I know that people throw stuff all the time at me, and I just, and I, you know, sometimes there's manifestation, but sometimes, a lot of the time, it doesn't work be- mm-hmm. with children of God. Why? Yeah, would- yes, yes. If you're a child of God, definitely it will not work. But if you're a child of God and you don't fellowship with believers, people of God, and you go to class and you do so many things, then hey, There'll be no protection. So if you're not very careful, you will suffer the consequence. It may not kill you, but you will, you really, you really, really suffer. You pay a very big price. Well, they can throw, like you say, the, the spirit of uh, relapse, like say mm-hmm. someone had a problem with drugs or alcohol. That's right. They say, I'm free in Christ. That, well, if you're weak, they can throw those spirits at you. And within a few days, the person will be relapsing and drinking and doing drugs again. Are you right? Yes, that's the, that's how it is. That's how it is. So instead of dealing with the problem, like something like AA, mm-hmm. you know, Alcoholics Anonymous, instead of dealing with the problem, mm-hmm. they, um, I mean, they say they believe in God, but they're not really dealing with Jesus, so they're not really applying, you know, the blood of Christ onto the yeah, you're right. Without right. without applying the blood, there's no without, there's no protection. I don't. There's think. no protection, right? Without applying the blood, there's no protection at all. 
Yeah, because if they apply blood, we apply blood, right? <laughs> okay, so yeah. there's a connect, but a lot of this is going on in the sea. These children, even though they may be children, they're fully trained witches and wizards, mm-hmm. and they take people down. Well, here's a scripture, another thing that it goes on. It says, uh, the scripture that connects this underworld compartment, Sheol. Mm-hmm. Is Sheol, where is Sheol? Sheol. Sheol, the realm of the dead. Yes. Sheol. Yes. Um, well, it says that uh, there's a scripture that connects it. It's uh, Revelation 22. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it basically, it's a, you say that this same scripture is used in Revelation 22 as a description of Satan. The, script, the scripture links the sea serpents with Sheol, an underground abode of departed spirits. That's so, right. So the spirits of the dead are wandering around Sheol, which means a place of inquiry to bring fear into the hearts of men that they would repent by the storms of life to the gentle breeze of the Holy Spirit. That's right. So Sheol and the undersea world is connected. Connected, that's right. Revelation 22. Um, mm-hmm. And then, of course, uh, you go on then with a, with a talk about is the devil real? Well, according to most Christian churches, I'm told that Satan and all that, and too much talk about Satan, they say, oh, that's not real. No, you see, that is I'm saying that. He has been able to enter into some of the churches and cause, cause some conf- confusion. Now, the Bible has not stopped talking about Satan. He says we wrestle not against flesh and blood. He goes ahead to say, but against principalities, against powers, against rules r- r- of darkness and spiritual wickedness in the higher places. Mm-hmm. The Bible goes to say in the book of Luke, I see Satan falling from heaven like a, 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 a lightning. I see the sheep. The Bible talks about all these things. He wants us to be aware. He wants us to know his devices, his lies. The Bible, the book of John chapter 10 verse 10, it says he has come to steal and to kill and to destroy. How does he destroy? How does he care if, if, if he's, he's not real? If you don't hear any, his, his works, how does he fear? How does he care? How does he destroy? So, but he has been able to enter into some of the churches and I don't know whether because of out of fear, or oh, out of persecution, I don't know. They just don't want to talk about it. And they cannot talk about the gospel without a devil. We are preaching the gospel because of the devil. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's the whole point. Yes. So that's <laughs> exactly <laughs> why, the because devil. the Satanism and the spiritual realm and all these things will get you if you don't have the, the, the born-again experience, the deliverance by Jesus Christ alone. Without You're that, right. they can just go ahead and take you. <laughs> that's but, but see no one talks about that there's dangers some they, they think oh there couldn't be they look at the world it looks fine to me they don't see you know all around us are these dangers these these spirits these you these see? disincarnate entities that that try to get a hold of you or whisper into your ear and make you do things <laughs> well anyway okay so you know as we you, you continue into the the gospel you say the whole <laughs> point of the gospel is to deliver us into life now, right? Not just that's, for after we're dead. That's right. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Also, you talk about in the book sea behemoths, in other words, giant monsters. Are that's there right. li- literally monsters out of the sea? They are big, giant mon- monsters. These giant mon- monsters are, are, are termed in the sea and then deliver them as commandos. These are brigades that help the agents of Satan and the realms realm of spirit. They are very huge and they, they do all sorts of things. They are, they are scavengers. They do the dirty work before the real demons come and do it. And so these mon- mon- monsters are being sent to homes, to various places, to, to, to jobs, to turn accidents, to frustrate you financially, to stop you from going forth, to roll your life back like uh, uh, setbacks, retrogression, to put fear in you, and to cause you not to have complete faith in the Lord. These are scavengers. They come and do all these things before the real demons come and do whatever they, they want wow. to do. They so, come to, dis- to destroy your spiritual vitality, and, and then also make sure make sure that your, your spiritual fiber is, is being broken down. Mm-hmm. So that when these things are being broken down, you get people to say, Jesus is not Lord. <laughs> okay, and, now, now, yeah, 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 yeah okay. Yeah. Uh, before uh, the real people, before they the real demons come. Mm-hmm. Okay, now, obviously, people, are, that's going to blow their minds. What he's saying is that, 
a lot of the demonic attack, or what you think is demonic, isn't even the demons yet. These, yes, well, you know, I've heard demons yet. They're not, you're not seeing the really bad stuff yet, those of you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. They, 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 are, they are scavengers, yes. Okay, these are scavengers, but the whole yes. point is to break you down, and then the real de right. demons come to go ahead and finish you off. Yes, yes, you're right. Well, what's going to happen to America? The way, if America doesn't repent, mm -hmm. I would say it's going to be finished off. Because most yeah, people, I mean, to me, you, seem hypnotized, uh, like in another see, realm here. You see, God is going to have mercy on America. Do you know why? Because of people like you. You know, when he wanted to That's destroy cool. the government, he says, if I find ten righteous men, I will spare. Because of the ten righteous men, I will spare. Of Sodom and, Gomorrah. and I believe that there are more than 10 righteous men. Yeah. What, what is going to be that? He's going to be a very radical revival. Very radical. <laughs> well, let me tell you. So, so you hear that, Satanist? I told you out there, you Satanist, I told you this. I said, you better keep a few of us around if you want to stay around. <laughs> no, no, that's right. I think they're smart enough to figure that out, though. Yeah, <laughs> they're smart enough. So I, I think it's going to cause a very radical revival here. Radical, very, very, very fearful one. Strange things are going to happen. God is going to bring strange things to happen to not even the ordinary citizens in this nation, but the top men. You watch the senators, the, those who matters, the law make Things are going to happen. And it will, start, it will start from them and say, let's fear God before it gets to the grass, grassroots. He will not start with the grassroots. Because they, they, they don't matter. He, God is going to start with the lawmakers, with the big man, with those who matter in, the, uh, in, in position. That is where the radical revival, fearful revival, wrath of God, radical revival will come. And when it comes and they start crying, then the grassroots will also begin to cry. And the righteous men in this nation will raise up their hands and say, Lord, we have sinned. And that is where revival is going to change. I know radical revival is going to is going to happen any moment from now, but it will start from the top. I I I, 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 I wouldn't be surprised that somebody will just rise up and the senators and kill about four a day, the next time three a day and start breaking things in the White House. I, I wouldn't be surprised just to draw the attention of those lawmakers to God and let them know that Jesus does not sleep nor slumber. This is the time if they don't repent then something was I, 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 I believe. Well, I if you bring them strong. to their... Listen, the Lord says, I will bring you to your knees. I will bring That's all right. your nations to your knees That's anytime right. I feel like it. So That's now right. maybe what you're saying is we're going to be brought to our knees and that's where the revival will come. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I, I, I'm, I'm positive. I'm positive. But, but he loves America. He will not give up on America at all. But he's going to bring a radical revival. He's going to bring you to your knees. Oh, yes. And that's where a real revival was, was done. <laughs> that's good news. Yes. Okay. Um, well, anyway, this book is an encyclopedia of magical arts, demons, demonology, witchcraft, wizardry, underground cities, uh, above-ground cities, other realms, um, and how these people, they, you know, one of the things that you've noticed is you have people in your life that try to get you to sin. See, they're not concerned with taking you down. They okay. just want you to start sinning. Mm -hmm. And if they can start that, then they get a reward. That's right. You're right. There are some people who are really human agents. Their duty is to convince you and to manipulate you to sin. Then they get reward. That is their main prime duty. Is that they are human agents and they look innocent and they look uh, lovely and friendly, and they look as if they care, but that is not true. Oh, if here, have, have some more wine. There you go. Oh, it's okay if you smoke a little pot. Here, have some of that. Yes. Ah, uh, it's a couple of pick-me-up pills. You're feeling a little tired. Here, have some pills. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, it's That's okay right. if I look at a little porno on the TV. What's the big deal? It's Well, the big deal. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And on the Internet, it doesn't matter. You haven't Now you haven't slept for a couple of days, and... Uh, you're all out of sorts. Hey, you turn on that. Now you're weak. Now go ahead and watch those images on the Internet. That's okay. That's, that's right. And then that's by right. that time, that person is doing well, and you're going down the tubes, and Satan's keeping a track of it. And he's saying, and this is all according to the book. This is all in Bishop Kanko's book. That's I'm just right. going by the book, okay? Uh -huh. He says, you know, what they're doing is they keep track of you and then all the sins you do, and they just keep a tabulation mm -hmm. of how come you're a worthless 
you know, uh, because you're, 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 you're just embracing sin now. But it all starts with that little trip up. And I believe the Jezebels amongst us. You're right. Are always wanting to give, if, if you like, Bishop, the Nazarites to get drunk on the wine. Mm-hmm. You know, because mm-hmm. Nazarites, right. Nazarites didn't drink the wine. That's right. So, you know, in a sense, it's like a little bit of a metaphor for, you know, getting people to sin. It seems like there's the Jezebels are always saying, oh, you know, you can go off your diet. Or you don't really have to eat uh, pure. You can, you know, it can start with something like that. You're right. It's okay if you look at another woman. That's right. Look at it. That's right. It's just, That's you're right. just looking. It's not like you're having sex with her. That's right. Go ahead and look. Go ahead and look. You're right. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your life. Go ahead and look. <laughs> life is for pleasure. Why deny yourself? That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay, divination. Um, we are in, in battle now with uh, some people that are out there that are trying to f- you know, influence uh, people that would be otherwise Christian saying that divination is okay. In other words, like tarot cards and things like that, uh, these are just keys to the hidden knowledge. And the church, the evil church, wants to take away all this because they don't want you to feel to have the power that we have, you know, the power to be free. So, you know, but really um, divination is good, and it's been the age-old way that man has found his way through his conflicts. What about divination? Uh, is, it, is it wrong? It's very wrong. Divination is, is, is the heart of Satan. Divination is one of the tools that he he's able to grab mass, mass recruitment, recruitment and mass people into his kingdom. Divination is, 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 is something that, you know, people crave for, 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 for power. They want to see what is happening to their life. They want to know who is that. They want to know who is this. They want to know what is coming. And this is what human beings is all about. He wants to know at a point in time. Or every time, he wants to know whether he's safe. He wants to know whether he's, he's doing well or somebody is after him. He wants to know. And, these, and so because of that, they, they, he has, Satan has provided these answers as you in quote by, uh, by getting people to, to do this divination. And so if you go there... Uh, if you go to somebody who read palms or somebody who's doing that, as soon as you go there and come back, you have been marked for Satan. You you are in his kingdom. So you can see a day and a number of people who go to such places. So they are just going into his kingdom mass. It's a mass production. Okay. He produced the mass. And then we need to break. If you have gone there before, you need to give you them. If you have been palms, have been red stars and etc., Divination, you need a necromancy, sorcery, you need a very big deliverance else. You Satan is going to worry you. And so it's no good at all. Mm-hmm. At all. You yeah. say you say in the book that a witch or wizard invariably practices his or her activities at night, and then you say that um, sometimes she leaves her body and falls he or she as yes, a ball as a ball of fire or a ball of light. Mm-hmm. And I, yes, a ball of fire. I've seen that, you know, and, and a lot of people say they think they see a UFO, and I say, nah, it's a witch if it's just popping in and out. Mm-hmm. And they say, but, but what they do is they, they usually go to their secret groves, they That's travel right. there, and the witches convene in these places for their nocturnal orgies. These orgies take the form of cannibalism That's for right. witches uh, to feed upon human flesh and are especially partial to the meat of babies and young children. You're the right. flesh eating, however seems to be regarded by many Africans as a mystical rite devouring the soul of the victim. And that's what we started talking about today. Hence the slow withering away of his actual body. The, right. w- the witch doctor must hasten to identify the witch before she is figuratively consumes a vital organ like the heart, liver, or lungs. Um, okay, now there's a lot of witches today. Witchcraft is, a, is being a Wiccan, for example, is allowed in the military um, of, of the United States considered a religion, they would say, this is r- ridiculous. We, the witches don't go out and have orgies and eat human flesh. <laughs> but, but now you're laughing. Okay. Yes, because it is interesting. Because they do, they, they do these things. They do these things, but they will not come up and say they do, they do these things. They do these things, and then if you see, but there we go. If a state of a country can allow witchcraft to have a religion, then of, of a truth, with the only thing that can save that, that nation is a radical revival. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, and then the, the, the conclusion of the book, and now we've gone through this whole thing, is 
There is a deliverance part of the book, which may be the most important part of the book. Uh, there is no other book that's going to give you everything you need to know about witchcraft, the occult, the complete structure of their cities uh, and their their uh, hierarchies and, and where they exist and how it works, how it all comes together. And then, of course, Deliverance and Jesus Christ, a whole deliverance section that concludes the book. You can get it at, at www.patholiday2ls.com. And she is the co-author of the book with Bishop Kanko. His story, her writing, and um, so be very, very, uh, I think, vital for you to have in your, uh, well, what uh, Pat was telling us recently is that she really wants to see a publisher. You can, you, can, you can get this book, download it, and then print it on regular paper and put it in a notebook and have it. But it should be published, I think, you know, with a, with a major publisher. And if this message happens to get around to any major publisher, here's a book you're going to want to have on every shelf. Because here is, even if you, the churches, don't want to admit Satanism, don't want to admit their part in covering all this up, uh, which is really like covering up the world because it's everywhere you go. So they want everyone to live in a little fantasy world or live actually in a hypnotized, mind-controlled state. Fine, but if you want to do something good for your company, like you, Zondervan, you, what's your excuse? Because, what, you're Masons? Is that right? So you're going to cover yeah. all this up? Well, why right. don't you publish this book and put it out there, and maybe you can start on the right road rather than going down the wrong road. Now, one, one final question. Why in the world... They know it's wrong. They say they believe in Jesus. A lot of these people pray very earnestly. Why do they do all this bad stuff? You see, they, don't, they, they think going to church is a, a social gathering. They think because people, if you go to these churches, people drink and they go to churches to do everything. They're missionary. They have church. They go to churches. These missions and this. They go to, so they think there's no power there. They think if you want real power, if you want to be in business, if you, you want to be popular, if you want to have power, then this is where you need to go. It's their mind. That is what it is, you see. Because they, 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 they think the power of Jesus Christ is no longer exists. It existed in the time of uh, the, the apostles, the, the disciples. But in our days, the power of God no longer exists. So if you want really power, it's all about right to go to church and sing and say, Lord, Lord, but you need to, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you, yeah. but you need to identify yourself with this missionary, these are courts, these people. You need to do that in order to get what you want. That is why. And that is why. It's, uh, that, 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 that is what, uh, probably it is our, our, our fault. Because we are not allowing the power of God to move in churches, so, well, there's no fear. There's not nothing, no, no resource. Mm-hmm. That is how it is. Uh, uh, we can't trust God enough. We can't, I mean, go they don't trust. The, they, don't, they don't trust that God will put food on the table. I mean, it comes yes. down to that very basic thing, so they go the other way. You're right. And then they start covering for this, and then they cover for that, and then they cover for this, and pretty soon they got orgies going on inside the church itself. You're right. I've seen that, too. I, I'm horrified. I'm like, what are you doing that? We're in front of the pulpit. And we're here on a Saturday for a prayer meeting, and you want to have, what, a homosexual orgy? Yes. You see? Yes, we do. We want to have homosexual sex with you. Oh, great. So I'm so sure glad I came to this prayer meeting. Well, you know what? We'll kill you if you tell. Oh, yeah. I ran right into that very thing with a big mainstream church that has lots of money. And my God, they, they said they wanted me to go on a ride with them in a car. I said, I'm not getting in a car with you. You are not going to guy you right. I'm going to guy with you. You are right. Yeah, I'm not going to get in the car with you after you after you jumped on my case for not getting in your homosexual orgy. Excuse me. <laughs> you know, and then and then they sit up there on Sunday and say homosexuals are evil. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Bishop Kanko, uh, Bishop Vagalas Kanko is my guest. All the information will be on the site. This will be there. Trish will uh, uh, stay right there, uh, uh, Bishop Kanko, and thank you. Thank you so much for, wow. Yeah, I got off to a little bit of a rough start because I've had spiritual warfare I've been, all week. I have been battling this whole demon of Jesus is not God, and, and we didn't get into it today, but there's an actual demon attached to it, and I can tell you, I know there is. We battled it with one show, and then I had another argument with some guy saying the Bible's false and this and that, and I'm... You know, they just really manifest. Then we have the other front, which is the New Age 
uh, tarot card front with the likes of Michael Sarian and others who are out there influencing the 9-11 so-called truth movement with their lies. And then they have all their militant... I mean, it's been one... This is the most insane week of spiritual warfare that your uh, host has ever gone through. I'm on the front lines. And so what I want you guys to do is, no, 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 don't just send me money. Here's, here's a couple of bucks that you keep going for me. No, no, you need to get involved here with me. You know, come on, I can't fight all this on my own. You can, I would rather see you uh, make your contribution and, and start, you know, swatting some of these dragons down. In fact, let me put on the song called I wrote called Swatting Flying Dragons. Because this was exactly, when you hear this little sound, it reminded me of these dragons. You need to get out your little fly swatters and swat these dragons down and, and take a stand. Don't just say, oh, Z's doing it. for I'm, I'm just, you, you know, you misunderstand. I, I may be uh, stronger than a lot of people, you know, be able to hang in there. But I'm, I'm damaged goods, too, you know. And uh, you think that I'm stronger than you. I'm not stronger than you. This nation... The only reason this nation is even here right now is because of a few people like you, like me, like a few others who didn't, you know, give in to this. But, yeah, I've seen their cities. I've seen their stuff, you know, some of it, because they wanted me to see it. They wanted me to get a glimpse. I never saw more than a glimpse, but they wanted me to get a glimpse, you know, thinking that I'd want in. They just can't believe that with all that good stuff they have to offer, how you could possibly go your own way. It's not my way I'm going. I'm just going the way of God. The way of Jesus Christ. I mean, you know, in the spirit of Ephesians 6.12, but some people like uh, the Apostle Paul, sure, he had his eyes open before he then repented of it. But he saw everything. I didn't. You know, and so therefore I'm kind of walking around blind. I, I need, you know, a little bit of covering too from your prayers. At the same time, you know, um, even if you just go in a, you know, a chat room where they're talking about, you know, tarot decks and how cool it is and you put in something like you, you quote a psalm. Just that right there. You know, or, you, you know, you say God bless you to somebody that you know is, you know, it, it, it's not easy because on the one hand you want to correct, and then on the other hand, you know, then they want to call you hateful. They want to say you're full of it. You know, they say the Bible's full of lies. And you know, I know this: Jesus is the only way out of this mess. The mess we talked about today with Bishop Kanko. This is the only way out. And I, if there was another way, I would have told you, and there isn't. I, whether you look at any of the, you know, well, what about a Muslim? Muslims are in the same boat that uh, Hindus are in. You know, and Hindus are in the same boat that uh, uh, witches are in. And witches are in the same boat that fallen Christians are in. Fallen Christians are in the same boat that, um, you know, kings and queens are in. So we're going to be brought to our knees here in America, but not wiped out.